How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the big six. Apologies for keeping you waiting. There's 1.3k in the building. Make sure you hit the like button first and foremost and make sure you're subscribed to the man, them Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse and Skull Foggery. All channel links are in the description below and make sure you're subscribed to the official big six channel as well because obviously when we do head over to New York next month, all of the content from New York is coming out on the big six channel. Not here. On the big six channel so show some love subscribe over there too we're on the road to 30k on that channel and sooner or later this show will move over there when the time's right but big up the sponsors to manscaped 20 percent off tb620 you already know what to do you already know what it is show the sponsor some love and it shows the channel and the show some love but what are we saying lads grizz welcome back man we missed you on monday mm, I, I miss said man yeah, I thought so. I thought so. We all no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> of course, I miss all of you. Love all of you, but you know what I'm saying, innit? Like, he's just arrived on this set with a Juve shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and, he's been, and, and he hasn't celebrated an assist. He hasn't celebrated a Man United goal like he celebrated a random Harry Maguire-esque assist. <laughs> like, Paul Pogba, like, Bent backwards, just put a header back in the, you know, like in the mixer. You, just, you know, one of those ones, just put it back Why in the mixer. Why are you hating? Why are you hating? Right? And this man is celebrating like United have secured top four. Mm. <laughs> now, you know what? It wasn't Don't bad. go anywhere. I'm just, you know, like you are looking at Sadio Mane for Bayern Munich. And, no. You know, you're watching him and you're kind no. of like, you know, bringing up memories. I'm there no. for, for, for isn't it? Like, no. We, we're there for a minute. No, like, we ain't. We, I ain't. Look, we're dead, but we ain't dead like that. You lot are next level <laughs> dead, man. No, but it's a grizz. It's not only Saeed in in, in the chat. I saw about Lapiosh, Lapiosh. What are you mean? What's going on here? Like, they're they're the people celebrating. are saying, man. The but people are there shouting. Are them, you lot like this down? Are you lot like this down? You're celebrating a next man. We don't play for your club. We don't love your club. We ain't got time. He's always in our week. heart, man. Papa <laughs> will always be in my heart, man. Like. You get me? Like, we're celebrating when he's at Juventus. We wanted to do well. You get me? And that's all it is, man. You get me? Like, he got the assist. He played well the last 20 minutes. He came Bro, on. You didn't, you didn't, like, you didn't speak this for French, this much French in college and you knew how much you were I'm fluent now. I'm fluent French, man. Bro, la pioche, la pioche. Come on, ça va. Come on, ça va. Get out of there, man. <laughs> Come on, your ass, man. Get out of there. You lot are shameless, man. But yeah, it's good to be Bro. back, man. Yeah, good, to, good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. When I saw all of that Lapioche in the chat, I thought, what's going on? Is, Pog, is, is it Pog back times two or something? I, I, I thought there was... <laughs> well, I, I, I honestly thought a transfer was happening. I thought he was coming back. <laughs> nah, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, he was going to whip out another, uh, another track, wasn't he? He was going to make another no, track no, for me, No, no, me, Hugh and Turkish were here early, yeah? And we were saying, oh, he must have scored a goal or something. Or it must be a mad assist or something. And then Huey's just put in the group chat, man. And it's literally just a Harry Maguire header back in the, in the, in the, in the mixer. And they're going so mad, like, oh, my God, Pog back, La Pioche, and Come Savant, Tua Libra. You lot are sick. I don't want to invite sick. him. You're sick. I'm happy for him, man. I'm happy for a minute. Like, you get me? Like, he's coming back from injury, so... Is what it is, man. <laughs> you probably. would take him back in a no, heart. Are you, you not, not, not lie to me? Why are you trying to why are you trying to lie? Do not lie so to lie me, me brother. Don't lie. Do not lie to no, me. No, I don't want him back. Yes, I want you him to be you're lying. You're lying. If you can Pogba back on a loan deal, you would go mad. I saw you twerking Listen. for Sabitza and Weghorst. You will take Pogba back. No, I know no, that. No. You slot him from Weghorst. Weghorst in the tent or Pog back in the Pogba. tent? Think about it. Pogba, <laughs> you, you stay there. You can enjoy yourself. It's too toxic, Man United. The way he was treated. Now, nah, man. Enjoy yourself. Shine over there. And enjoy the fruits of Italy. You know, the, the pasta. Like, enjoy it over there, man. Mm. Not, the pasta. <laughs> not, 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 the not the countryside, he said the pasta. <laughs> the You've got so many things, you know, I mean, over there. But, you know, like I said, Allegri ball needs to go, by the way. He's an absolute fraud of a manager. And once he gets a better manager, then maybe he could cook something. But listen, I'm happy for a minute. That's all I'm saying. It's happy always the manager. With the players, <laughs> right? He, now look who he's just defrauded. He's he's defrauded Allegri, one of the greats. Bro, just, he, right now he is. Bro, he's awful manager, man. Always let's let's talk about the managers, Pogba's players, and the, and the coach and the players he's played in them. But it's always 
an excuse for Pogba. It's never Pogba. It's an excuse. I'm just it's the formation, the it's the players, it it's well. the manager, it's the tactics, it's the media, it's the pressure of the fans. Mm. It's never La Pioche. Never La Pioche. said that. Never said that. But right now, the context... Well, you, you got a chance to say it now. You got a chance to say it now. <laughs> no, I'm saying right now, the manager's... <laughs> like that, the manager. <laughs> the manager's bad. Like, Pogba's coming back from injury. There's nothing really bad to say about him. Okay, now, oh, oh, injury. oh, now he's back from injury. That's the excuse. He's back from now. injury. Yeah, he's back from injury. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how Sadio Mane is doing well. Is he? Too, yeah, no. I don't yeah. whine. I don't whine and dine him like on oh, no, you, like like you are on top of that. You can't. You can't. Though, you Sadio, can't. thank you very much. Have a great life. Yeah. I love him to this. He's watching it now. He's watching it. I ain't now. celebrating like this. I ain't yeah. doing this one. I ain't tweeting about anything. him. He's done. Mm. He's done anything. He's, he's getting linked yeah. with my club. I'm not really yeah, sure why. Jersey, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure what's going on. You have to sell him now. Sell to Chelsea. He will not go to Chelsea if he goes to Chelsea. More Are you more. cutting ties with your with yes. one of your kings? Wow, look at that. Oh, wow. After everything that's he's done for that. you. Are you, are you hearing this? After everything he's done for you, you're going to yeah, cut ties. Remember I'm, when you talk about kings, Salah and Mane? 100%. Are you sure you're going to take his crown on coronation on coronation weekend? You're going to take his crown. That's how sure I am he ain't going to Chelsea. If he does... If he does... Oh, would you just like... If I speak... Wow. Look at that. Where else does he go, though? Who's going to want him? He's had an awful season. No, he Tottenham, won't go. He won't Tottenham, go. Tottenham, he, Tottenham, I think he go to a lower level. T- he won't go to Chelsea. Chelsea be mad to get him first, but that, that's Chelsea for you. Like I told you, look, Sadio wasn't the same player, man. He got mad numbers in the last season, but he dropped off six months, twelve months before that as well. Oh my god! No, he won't go to Chelsea, man. Otherwise, nah. I'm in trouble. You're in trouble. I'm and in you're trouble. Gonna him. You're gonna disown him. You said. So. I, I'll see what I do in it. You relax in it. That's yeah. wild. That's wild. Yeah, that's wild. He ain't getting Chelsea. He ain't getting Chelsea. He ain't got time to waste. Mm-hmm. What do you go there for? <laughs> you see, you see the double injury that you got there, mate. You see that? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Don't worry about that. It's just Saliba <laughs> and uh, I, I hear Saliba's out for the season. And, oh, we uh, need Zin- it already, man. Z- Zinni, Zinni as well. Zinni as well was out for the season. Zinni, I think Zinni needed a break that's anyway. A good, that's a good thing for them. Kieran yeah, Tierney back in. Who's gonna do the? Who's gonna do the hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wasn't meant to start on La Pioche and Juventus and, and Sadio Mane, but little warm up in it. Little warm up yeah. in it. I thought just you know make it a bit interesting. It? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> are, are we warmed up now? Are we good to go? Mm. Yeah, good mm-hmm. to go. But let's let's talk football. Let's talk about you know. Man yeah, City. let's talk football. Let's get away from Pogba. Let's talk football. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. <laughs> yeah, Circus. Let's do football. Well, there's only one team that played this week: City, Champions League semi-final in Madrid, um, coming out with a one-one draw. Vinicius Junior um, setting the first half for light, one nil up, and Kevin De Bruyne scoring the equaliser, and they take a one-one draw back to the Etihad. You, you might as well kick us off. I mean, what do you make of it all? Couldn't be happier. Uh, I genuinely couldn't be happier. I think we've taken an absolutely fantastic result back to the Etihad next week. I mean, I've got so many messages after that game from Madrid fans and and people who, sh- who apparently don't care about City rival fans in England. I won't name drop saying name them. Man, name them. Listen, I have, it, listen, you wait for a sec. All you're right. gonna get you're gonna get humbled next week by Madrid. Madrid are gonna slap you up, and I'm like. On what grounds are you saying this? Like, wh- wh- why do you think this? Why are you so worried? It seems like a lot of people are getting really stressed that Little City might do something special this season. I can see you twitching in the corner already, Saeed. You're like, oh, how do I how do I fix this? We can't let this happen. That's the way it is. But listen, as far as the performance goes, I understood it. I understood it. Pep Guardiola never wanted that game to turn into one of these typical City Champions League blockbusters. You know, 5-4, the game is stretching. It's like a basketball game going from end to end. It was far more strategic and far more clever in the sense that we're happy to not have as much possession as we usually would on a week-to-week basis. We're happy to not pose as much attacking threat as long as on the basis that defensively we are compact and solid and we do not crumble under the pressure of the burnabout. We went to one of, one of if not the most daunting place in Europe uh, and I've come out with a draw to go back to our own place where we're 25 unbeaten in that competition for a 1v1 hit out. If you told me before this tie that we'd have a 1v1 hit out at home versus Real Madrid to go to the final at a bit your hand off. And listen, we weren't our best. I think defensively we were brilliant. Going forward, not a huge amount to offer, but Kevin De Bruyne, man. Kevin De Bruyne for me is 
I think he's up there with, if not the best midfielder we've ever seen in the Premier League. This guy is constantly turning up in the big moments, Champions League, Premier League, when it matters the most, he doesn't. He's a special, special player. And as much as I want to win the Champions League for myself and the club, I want him to win it, to cement that legacy uh, with those players who won it before. So, listen, man, bring it on. Everton now on, on Sunday, Cup final now as well. I feel if we win that, we should. I think we've got one hand on the Premier League trophy at that stage. So it's a tough week, but the Burnabout game, I'm absolutely buzzing. I think a 1-1 draw is absolutely fantastic. And the defensive performance for me was spot on. I mean, Kyle Walker only got beaten by Vinicius once. To only get beaten by, by Vinicius once is unbelievable in the Burnabout. He's a top, top, if not the best winger in world football. So listen, man, couldn't ask for much more. Bring them back to start the Eddie had. Uh, and let's see them humble us. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> let's start. Let's start with Kevin De Bruyne because he, he's really listen. He's turned it up uh, at the business end of the season in the biggest games. He's he he he's proven himself to be one of the goats in, in the Premier League. Um, midfielder, I, I, I probably more see him as an AM slash support striker than a than a out and out midfielder. But I, I get what you're saying. He is one of the Premier League goats and. And Arsenal, Arsenal saw firsthand. I've saw firsthand what he done to us, um, not only recently, but in the game at the Emirates too. And any time Man City need a big moment, Kevin De Bruyne nine times out of ten, he he is the one to kind of deliver for you lot. So I, I, I do have to agree with you. I, I won't I won't stick my neck out and say the Premier League goat. AM or, or whatever position you see it as, but he's definitely in the debate, and and it's probably a debate worth having. But I don't know what the rest of the guys think. Should not should not one man the match. Um, should not one man the match. There was a lot of man the match contenders on that pitch, and um, I would say even even for City, you could maybe go to a couple centre backs. But you look at Rudiger's performance, you look at Camavinga's performance, you look at Vinicius's performance. I'm not sure how he walked away from man the match. Listen, it was a great goal. It was a great finish. It was a brilliant brilliant moment from him. But Vinicius was was absolutely incredible that 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 game. So I, I thought it was a little bit of PR there. And and City get this a lot. Same with Foden, young player of the year. We've seen it before. So there's a lot of PR going. Um and I'm looking forward to the return leg. I think it's I think it's very finely poised. Real Madrid have already shown that they can go to Anfield and slap them up with their heritage stadium and their this is Anfield theme tune and whatnot. Soundtrack. So Ooh. yeah, I I think this is I think this is on a knife edge. I don't think it's I don't think it's um I don't think it's 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 too bad of a result for either team. I'm I'm kind of glad in a way that Harlan and Benzema were were kind of nullified because I think there's both of those players need to step up in the second leg. They were a little bit quiet. I think Benzema looked more rusty so than Harlan not getting service, but Benzema was very rusty, man. There was a few times the ball went into him and it just didn't stick. So you can see why they're going to need to maybe revolutionise that attack in the coming years. It's a little bit disappointed with him, but apart from that, I thought it was a great game. This is two top teams playing top tier football. You don't get to see it very often. It was it was a good watch. I can't lie, it was a very good watch. Tobes, Chris, Saeed. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought it's the highest level game I've seen this season. Some some were disagreeing. Whatever, it's up to you. No problem, disagree. Mm. For me, elite coaches showing each other respect because that's what they were doing. Two teams, the, easily the two best teams in Europe. It was high level, high level stuff. The tactics were high level. The the the, the, the control was high level from Man City in the opening half an hour, but the reaction was high level as well from Madrid. When 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 Madrid will never have faced a team that kept the ball like that in a Champions League side or coming to the famous Bernabeu, they strangled them. Man City just strangled them, didn't let them out. But then I don't know if you guys remember. Who got the head injury? Gundogan got the head injury and Carlo Ancelotti had a few minutes with them. And then that changed uh, the momentum slightly. They went to a different press, different way of defending. And then Madrid got back in the game. Mm. But before that, Man City put on a masterclass in terms of going away without actually th look threatening. But again, they didn't look threatening because they didn't want to overcommit because of the threat of Vinicius. And vice versa, Madrid were happy to let them have the ball, but we know Madrid are one of the best teams in world football at feeling comfortable out of possession. They believe in each other so much. And shout out Rudiger. I was trying to bait him in the... In the not that he reads what I'm saying. I'm not bait him, but you know what I was saying. Like, Rudiger's got a clangor of a game in him, but he was superb the mm -hmm. way he handled um, Haaland. 
whether he starts in the next game is one of the intriguing calls because Kamavinga could possibly go into midfield. Alaba go to left back, Rudiger and uh, Militao centre back, which would mean Valverde go right wing instead of mm. Rodrigo. The old Madrid. The old Madrid. But this mm, could yeah. also mean, but for City, it could also mean Mares coming in for. Silver. Bernard, Bernardo Silva has been brilliant though Champions League hasn't Bernardo he? Silva defensively was brilliant like in terms of the game plan mm-hmm. like he you know we know what Bernardo Silva does I just thought it was uh, you know what I mean yeah. like yeah, it's either it's either Madrid win their 15th Champions League which is mad or Man City win their first one so I don't really obviously I'd prefer Real Madrid to win but looking at it just from a footballing point of view I thought it was tense I think it was it was it was jeopardy at every phase of play and the respect shown. Mm. Yeah, you're right. A couple of the big boys didn't have their best games, but yeah. come on, it's a wild season. World Cup, tired. A lot of these players have got a lot of minutes in their legs. I think it's set up fantastically for the second game. Me personally, me personally, and I've said it from the start, I think Man City wiped the floor with them at, at Etihad. Why? had floor? to. Yeah, they had to take a lead. They had to take a lead. I agree. That's just me. I, I think Man City win comfortably, man. I think they're slight. I think they're slight favourites. But what we cannot underestimate is that Real Madrid are experts in chaos. They're experts in yes. chaos. They're expert in 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 situations that are high pressure. And I know Man City can control teams, but if you ask a team to act on impulse and act on, you know, instinct, Real Madrid are the best. They don't I, need. I they don't need system. Individual brilliance. I've seen that come. very quickly, you know and then I mean? Toby, you go very quickly just in response to that. I agree with you. And every season we say the same thing and we underestimate Madrid and everything. But my issue is not, or my reason for favouring City is not Madrid. Madrid will do what they can do. Again, this game reinforced my opinion about Man City and the way they've learned how to play out of transition. Uh, uh, sorry, in terms of controlling the ball when they haven't got the play. They're not transitioned easily now. Mm. And this is, yeah, yeah. this is the genius of Pep. Mm. Totally the genius pep. So this is what gives me the confidence. Madrid will still do Madrid things, but Man City are equipped much better now, in my maybe, opinion. Tactically, tactically. Maybe the depth might be their problem, Real Madrid. The depth. I think Man City have got who they got on the bench. Foden, Mares. That might if, if the, the, the more the longer the game goes, I think Real, Man City have got the edge. But if they can somehow in the ninety minutes, Ancelotti contain them for the first what sixty, and then do what they do. Always bring on Rodrigo and then the game and then they find a winner. That's the only way I can see it kind of be. If, if, they, if it's a box to box and it's a, it's a kind of, um, you know, all action, I think Man City yeah. might be overpowered. But what, Rodrigo, what Rodrigo does, has to he stop. Contains you. Yeah, he contains you. And then on the break, bang, all of a sudden, Valverde is the bro, this guy is so good, by the way. I would well, I love do, Valverde in my team. I like, do think Roman did, Roman did definitely had the depth. Maybe, maybe not in the bench. Forward. No, not on the yeah, bench. bench was... Maybe not in the forward areas, but Roman did have depth. Of course, when you look at their midfield, their midfield stacked. The defense that they've got, they've got options at centre back. I think when we when we talk about depth, really and truly, we're only talking about the attack. They don't really have if Benzema if Benzema goes down, they don't really have anyone else to come in for Benzema. But in the other areas, I think they've got, I think they've they've got cover. I actually thought Bernardo Silva was poor. On the night, I thought, yeah, I, thought Kamavinga, yeah. I thought Kamavinga had him on strings. I thought he had him on strings defensively. Kamavinga was a clampers, and going forward, yeah. Bernardo Silva couldn't keep up with Kamavinga. I thought he was fantastic, man. For me, he probably would have been my him or Vinicius would have been my man of the match. Like he, like Man City, the only way they could they could take they they could take down um, Kamavinga was was um, fouling him. So maybe that might be an option for Ancelotti to, to go different um, at the Etihad. But to Grizz's point and to Matisse's point, Matisse was like, Roman Jid, they thrive on chaos. Yeah, they do. But Man City are the home team. Man City will try and contain that chaos as much as... Man City won't make it a basketball game. I don't think they'll make it a basketball game. And if it was a basketball game, I think now the difference between last season and this season is Man City have a shooter up top who will put away the majority of the chances that they'll create and they have the pieces at the back to not be as susceptible in the break as they were last year. Last I year, I think they will. Just, I think Man City will make up. I think I think Man City will go and unleash in that first twenty minutes. I think Man City will be very confident of mm. outscoring this Madrid team. I don't think they will set up KG because I think that will play in Madrid's hands. No, I'm yeah. not saying they're gonna they're gonna pop the boss. I'm saying that Man City won't let it be like 
oh, you shoot, I shoot, you shoot, I shoot. I, I think they're going to put it on Real Madrid. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But I don't mm. think, I think they're going to limit, I think they're going to limit the, uh, the amount of opportunities that Real Madrid will have because that's what, that's just what Man City do at home. Like, it's much harder to transition on Man City when you've got Kyle Walker in the, in the back line, right? Ruben Diaz will be fit. John Stones is playing his best football. And um, either, I don't know who's going to play left back, maybe Akanji or... Same or, team. The back four will be exactly the same. So, for me, I, listen, that, that result was perfect for Man City. Like, as long as they didn't lose, that result is perfect for Man City because everyone knows it's a big game at the Etihad. People take the piss out of Man City's fans, but I, I, I've been to the Etihad when they had a big game. Okay, they didn't go through on the night, but they beat us. They beat us for free. They know what it means to play. The players and the fans, they know what it means to play at home in the Champions League. And when you look at the big teams they've played at their ground, how many games have they really lost? How many games have they really lost? They've beaten Bayern Munich there before. They've beaten PSG there before. They beat, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you drew against Barcelona. I can't even remember. I can't even remember, but they I don't think they've lost at home what since Leon? Since Leon yeah, like 2018, four, 2018. Three or four years ago. So in my head, I'm expecting Man City to go through. Like Real Madrid heritage, I get it. But history tells you otherwise. Yeah, yeah. You, we can talk about history, but I'm looking at the two sides match matched up against each other. And I can't see Real Madrid beating Man City at home. I just can't but history it. history also tells us that when you've got an elite coach with world-class players throughout the squad and we're talking throughout the squad so we know elite coach we know world-class players and we know the backing investment history also tells us eventually that team does win the champions league at some point they've had five six seasons of nearly men close calls whatever this is no i think the way they played that game they knew these two legs are the final i know we don't want to count our chickens you know what I mean? Before they... It's a man in time. Good, you know? Okay, no, know. count, count them, bro. Yeah, count. yeah, yeah. Please, stop Listen, it. Stop it. Count, count, what count, I'm saying, count, we only chicken. exactly... Count all the nah. chickens, brother. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think... I think... I think <laughs> you saw... You saw That's the easy, tense... Bro. You know the tense nature of this game suggests that both coaches knew this is the final. This is the final. I'm telling you, this is very much like when we played Spurs. No disrespect. Yeah, I said part. the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you say the same? Yeah, Me yeah, I said the same. Oh, bro, you wiped them, bro. I, I I put a big bet on that game. I can't. That wasn't lie. a wipe. That wasn't a wipe. But I no, know no, the no, point no, no. Hey, hey, no, 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 we're winning the Champions League once we got this to the final. It was the semi final that was the one we had to get past semi final. I think this in Madrid and, and City are the same. They know, and look, inter inter fans can come at me and say, you know, oh, don't disrespect. I'm disrespecting. I'm telling you now. You're there for you the, that, for the day that. out. Yeah, you're there for the day out. You're there for the day out. Into Milan. Wow. Enjoy your day. This is Man City. Whoever wins this, Champions League winners right you're hit, you're But can I just say, I would man. absolutely love it. I would love it if one of the Milan teams managed to change this. It would be it would yeah. be historic. But I I agree with you. I can't see it personally. I, I just I just think I just think the quality of these two teams on this side of the draw are too strong. Um, I really do. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, and going back to Rudiger, I think Rudiger has to start after after the way he kept Haaland quiet. Yeah, that's a big decision though because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Because who do, like how do you change that midfield? Do you take out one attacker? Rodrigo was quite good, quite good mm. on the break. And I, I don't know. It's a it's a, both both coaches got mad decisions to make. I think it's mad. This game is proper tennis. That's what makes it good, isn't it? That's what it's all I think, about. I think we'll have the same team, except we'll just throw either Phil Foden or Riyad Mahrez on the right wing instead of Bernardo Silva. I think Bernardo Silva was put out there primarily to be slightly more defensive-minded uh, and be that more compact defensive team that I was talking about because we're in the Bernabeu. But I think he's going to unleash it. He's going to want to unleash it more and put out a proper attack and threat like Riyad Mahrez, who's done it in the Champions League. He's done the big goals against your PSGs and your Dortmunds and these kind of teams in, in the knockout stages. So I think it's primed and ready for Mares. But look, I, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think that Madrid team walked off that pitch really frustrated the other night. I think they walked off really, really frustrated because I think they would have said to themselves, that is not the City team we played last season. The City team we played last season would have crumbled under the wave and wave and wave of pressure and attack we are putting on them. And we didn't. Defensively, we were sound and solid. So... Madrid are going to have to think about it. I think they'll show maybe more respect than they would have done beforehand. So, look, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. Bring it on. Does, does anybody think that Everton game on the weekend plays a part? Because they have to play their strongest team. They don't have to. 
Oh, you, you say rest? Mm, 100%. At Goodison Park. 100%. They've, they, they've got a buffer of losing one game and still yeah, drawing another good. one. It's not a problem for them. Do and, 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 I, don't, and, I don't think they'd want to do that. And how many times, yeah, and how many times have we yeah. discussed Sorry, why the squad? Are we, why are we just not Goodison Park as well? Yeah. yeah well, exactly. listen, they, don't have a great, they don't have a great record over there. They do. They, they have. Yeah, they don't, don't, they don't, they don't, have a Everton. Everton Huey. beat Arsenal a couple of weeks ago. We haven't Huey. lost since 2017. What are you on about bad record? Oh wait, oh, sorry, the Rodri handball. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I forgot. Yeah, Matisse, you done a grizz there. You done a grizz yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to make up stats. Yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah, you cheated. Yeah, you done yeah, 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 a meter. You done the last time you went up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely cheated. They cheated. They should win. So we have a bad record. Yeah, yeah. Cheated. I don't think. I don't think Pepe's gonna. I don't think you're gonna see some some random B team. I think Hugh Hugh touched on it. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hold. What's Man City's random B team? In it exactly. Hold is coming in. Far is coming in. No, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think you're going to see. I don't think you're going to see wholesale changes. I don't think you're going to see wholesale changes against against. Um, they made seven Everton. changes against Leeds. They made seven changes against Leeds. I expect minimum of four, five changes a game. They wholesale at this, at this level, but with City's level of squad, they're not. You know, oh shit! Look yeah. at that scratch squad. No, it's calm. Alvarez, Haaland. Sorry, Alvarez, Mares, Foden. Uh, okay, Ake okay, coming back. Uh, okay, young in, youngster, okay, what's, that, what's that youngster, the fullback, the one you got a new deal? Nah, he ain't playing. Gomez ain't playing. We don't, we don't have Lewis. the depth. We don't have the depth that you're talking about. We don't have the depth. We don't, you have, don't have the depth. We, we, we don't have a conveyor belt of of hundred million pound players. Lord have mercy. We have Alvarez, who's still twenty two years old, and we got Veghorst, mate. You got depth, man. <laughs> what do you mean you've got Vegas? That's that's who you're championing. That's Dimitar Berbatov Yo. you're talking about right there. The cheek of you. The cheek of you to mention Wegos in the slander. In the slander. I'm, I'm not hearing this nonsense I'm about not trying Wegos. to hear this Wegos um, disrespect right now. Right? We ain't got the depth, you know. Man said that. Man that guy, no, we don't have the depth you seem to think we do. We just don't. No, no, but you've got light for like quality though. I don't think it's... No, we don't. No, we don't. No, no, no. Here we go. Come on. you got Alvarez for Haaland. You've got Mares for Bernardo. You've got who else have you got on the bench? Foden for Grealish. It's like for like quality. So we have what? Well, we have a couple of wingers. That's about it, really, isn't it? We just no. named you your front three. Well, so you're you're telling me Alvarez is as good as Haaland. Is that what you're saying? No, I, no, I, I didn't so say like that. For like. I'm just saying like you, you can bring in a player and it wouldn't be a massive difference. You know what I mean? Like you can still win the game with them players up front. Whereas if, so especially against to... especially against bottom of the table Everton. Yeah. That's our that, that point. Yeah. If you had to go to Everton Arsenal, bottom, if you had hey, to go to fake stats, hey. <laughs> yeah, stop this man. <laughs> pedantic. Stop being pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, look, if we're like as as Tobe says, are we really doing this? Are we really gassing up good as a party? We have to Everton? because anything can happen. Are we, we trying are. to make a title race out of this? Yes, Get out of here. We 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 must. We'll, we'll speak, we we'll must. speak Monday. We'll speak Monday when City have won nice and comfortably whilst making minimum, hear me out, minimum four to five changes. I don't think it will be like uh, uber comfortable, but they're going to no. win, man. They're, they're going to win. They're going to win, man. I think they'll win. I'm just saying, what will it play any part on the Real Madrid game? I'm just you're just trying to, you're trying to build up. <laughs> Matisse is doing the build up to football. Focus. Yeah, I'm just doing the build up. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> to make sure. Be there. Be there. Like, <laughs> they don't really have like two good players in every position. Sorry, they don't really have like two free players in every position, right? I think their squad is like. Because of the the names that they have on the bench, it makes people think like they got like this huge squad. But their squad numerically as actually isn't big. It's just the caliber of players that they literally have like that can just rotate. You have like of course oh, you have like okay, you'd you rather have that. Oh, you'd rather have we that. Have one, we have one fullback at the club. We have one fullback at senior level. Can I say? Can I say why? Can I say why? Okay, you got bare multi. Sorry, Tobes. sorry, you got bare like multi-purpose players. That's the thing. These are mm. top players that can play a variety of roles. The reason why they've got one fullback exactly. is because Pep has revolutionized this formation in not playing with fullbacks. How obvious and glaring is it, people? Yeah, he yeah, plays 100%. four centre backs and one of them inverted. Not yeah. even inverted. I don't even know what no. you call He's that. Central midfield. He's what you, not what you call that John Stones? What you call that John Stones role? I don't even know, man. Beckenbauer yeah, of the Beckenbauer, oh, yeah. Beckham, yeah. Bobby Moore and Beckenbauer of the two thousand twenties, man. He's mad. Well, they call him the Barnsley Beckenbauer anyway. So, so he's, he's 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 happily let fullbacks go because he doesn't believe in fullbacks. He <laughs> believes in total control with control. four six foot 
six foot plus centre backs, one on one demons, and then the rest. You know how good that is, though. Because Tony, Tony, is it Tony great? Pulis on, he looks on, so on, comfortable. On, on, one on demon, yeah. Tony, Tony Pulis on crack. That's what's going on right now. Oh, that's what's Tony Pulis on crack. Oh shit, Huey, <laughs> Huey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna bite. I'm not gonna bite. <laughs> no, but that's crazy though. Kanji isn't that great yeah, but the way the system like. Like, I don't know, man. You don't see his flaws as much. And that's the beauty of what Guardiola wants. He wants control. And I'm playing out from the back and then just, you know, total control. So you don't see the actual frailties of a Kanji. I just think it's quality, man. And that's You're not giving him enough credit. credit. Kanji's been absolutely terrific all season. Tell, tell me, he, innit? Tell he's tell a me, smart, man. smart player, a Kanji. That's, 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 that's nonsense, man. Mm-hmm. Why are you saying Walks. tell me? I never said he's bad. I just said, I Bro, said he's decent. You did. I didn't say he's bad. I said he's, a, he's an average defender. He's a, he's a good ball player. He's an average defender. And I'm, I maintain that. You're going to have that here. Yeah. What? That's what I'm saying. I'm just what, like... have I said what, what have I said that that's wrong? <laughs> he is average at defending. What, what, what can I say to people who don't want to listen? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do this again? Are you going to let me... Are you going to come back to me and say, oh, no, you're right. Again. Oh, it's not having it. It's not having it. <laughs> listen, we've, been, we've been down the... Tr- we've, done done the dance, Toby. we've done this dance too many times. We know I don't goes. know why we have to do this. If you say, <laughs> if you can say, if you want to say he's had a good season, do that. That's fine. I'll tell you he's had a good season, but I'm not going to change my opinion on Akanji. I don't think he's a good defender like that. I think he's okay. Who's it's a like better, who's a better defender, Akanji or Romero? Like, I'm not going to change Romero's my opinion better than Akanji. She's not that good. I'll, I'll, I don't care how bad a season's having. Romero's better than Akanji for me. He is. In what way? What's, what's, what do you reckon he's better at? I'm not going to get into this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> you, you have to. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> this. Is this the guy you were literally telling people to punch up? You were literally telling people. Yeah. Sometimes. This is better. Sometimes. 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 You need a smack. Top of the Premier Sometimes. League in a Champions League semi final. Toby, man, you've lost me. You've lost me. That's fine. That's fine. I, that's fine. I don't, I'm not really. Rush him. Bothered. Are you serious? I'm not really bothered if I can <laughs> rush him. <laughs> I don't really care, bro. I mean, you can't just throw that statement out to say I don't want to talk. No, about he it. can. He's, He's saying he can. Anything. He don't I was care. Asked the question. I didn't throw anything. Yeah. I was literally He's saying he can. Around. He don't care. That's it. He don't care. <laughs> he, he, he don't care. He don't care. Signs of insanity. If you care, cool. Like, you know what insanity, I mean? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> not on the opinion, but on the whole attitude. Feel like, like, yeah, I don't care. Like, what? What? I don't care. That's like mad, isn't it? That's mad. I don't care what you look throw at me evidence wise, stat- statistics wise, performance wise. I don't care. It's in my head. I've got that video in my head now. You think you're tough, right? Rush him. Next yeah. time you see him. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I would love I would love to see I would love to see what the opinion is. Um, if Romero was to play in a team that had like 70% possession week in, week out, and didn't have to do as much defensive work as he does at Spurs, I would love to see the reaction. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not That's going to. Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What, to- what Tobes is saying is not outrageous, to be honest. I don't think it's outrageous. It's, outrageous. it's the same thing. with. It's the- remember what they said about Zinchenko? Oh, remember Zinchenko, a, a-, a guy who's playing left back in the team that, again, full dominant side. You're not really having to do that much work defensively. Cancelo. Cancelo. We- look at how bad he is defensively. How many times was he exposed by Man City? Like, even if you're a good, bad, awful defender, you don't really get work back at, at Man City because more often than not, they have they have line share possession in probably 78% of the games they play. Allow it, man. Allow it. If, if you, if you want to talk to me about good, like, good defenders at Man City, talk to me about Diaz. Talk to me about Stones. Talk to me about even Ake. Talk to me about um, Kyle Walker. Akanji, he's done a good job for Man City. Well, he's a decent defender. No, I ain't going to change my opinion on that. I blame Matisse for this because Matisse was there. You're going to have that here. And then they just kicked off from there. <laughs> I've, I've done what I needed to do. <laughs> then he went to Utah and said, what makes him better? And then, yeah, it was, it was all a wrap. Nah, if, if, if I answer the question, we'll be here all day. So let's just move yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Good timekeeping, Toby, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> good time keep just wait until we get just wait until we get new year cool when are you being tough as well you know that's it bro you, you, you had your Roma tough on man what are you talking about I'm learning yeah. from you yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Toby you, you wear a lot of it different is, you, yeah, I'm not gonna lie you don't go anywhere 
I'm you don't go anywhere. You inspired me, bro. You inspired me to like. I bought my Roma top and I went to the Stadio Olimpico, yeah? So shush. Well, I got my kit from Mystery Kicks. Shout out to Mystery Kicks. Yeah, I was going to say something. You didn't get that from Mystery Kit. Don't chat shit, man. No, I swear to God, Wallahi. Wallahi, you got Mystery Kit. I said, Wallahi, you told me you got one, didn't you? Oh. What's that? Mystery Kit. Mystery Kit's that guy where he gives you a free kit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a UV one. I got a UV one, yeah. Yeah. So everyone's got one. <laughs> Steve got one. Everyone's got one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, because we met him at Steve's birthday party and he was like, yo, I do football kits and that, da, da, da. and I said, yeah, man, I'll take one, innit? So. Tell, tell man to link me, innit? Yeah, I'll shout you. Shout you. <laughs> so nice. do, doing deals on the big six, I like it. It's good. It's Ralph, good. man. Come on. <laughs> we, we open. <laughs> Multitasking. I like We this. open, man. We open, man. We open. Man. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I was going to move the Super Chats, but I don't know. Are we done with Man City? Saeed, yeah. Did, did, do you want to bring anything else up or are you good? No, because... Talk to, uh, who was saying to me that I'm rattled, but there seems to be an interview online in Madrid and they asked City fans, yeah, uh, would you rather win the oh, yeah. FA Cup against Man United or would you rather win the Champions League? And Huey said, I'm rattled by Man City. But guess what they all said? I'd rather win the FA Cup in, uh, against Man United. And every mm-hmm. single person said it. And that's the real diehard City fans are at Madrid, but I'm rattled. So Yeah, because because you've tweeted more about Real Madrid than you have about no, Man United. No, 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 no. Let's stick to the context. Who's rattled them? Every single City fan... Bro, you, you became Real Madrid out. extra on Tuesday yeah. night. No, no, hold on. Your biggest day, your moment to win the Champions League. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I want to go to work and laugh at Man United fans. Okay. So who's rattled? <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. So confused. I, I agree with them. I agree, right. I agree with them. I I'm agree so with them. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you the same? Yeah, he, I'm not losing to them in a cup final. You're mad. You'd rather win the FA Cup against Man United every no, time. You every time. Come on, man. Stop. That's what I'm saying. What's it's this okay is, is different. On God. It's okay on God. To Champions League different. is the biggest. This is mad. This is why you have to sit cool. here. Yeah, you need to hear me out. Listen, for me, for me it's imper- a case of, if that's the case, I, then that's a mad inferiority complex, man. Bro, <laughs> don't even don't even let them have this Champions League. They don't deserve it, honestly. Uh, listen, it's a case of I, I believe that the Champions League will eventually come. I believe this team is so good that it will eventually You can't come. keep saying that for a decade <laughs> soon, man. <laughs> listen, listen. The first ever FA Cup final meeting between Man City and Man United. No way am I losing that. Not a chance would I would I take a loss on that. No, no, not no, no. no. Never I would never League. hear the end of that. You mean, I would never hear the end of that. When you've never won the Champions League, you can't talk like that. You can't say that. Well, I am. I'm not losing them in a cup final. Not a chance. Okay, that's fair. But that's what I'm saying. If you're being honest, then fair enough. But then you can't come to me and say, you're rattled, you're rattled. But then well, you I'm not rattled. Win. I just gave my opinion. You were rattled on Tuesday night because no, 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 of a, you, of a you're throw in that should have gone the other way. <laughs> or Real Madrid should have got a throw in. You were proper in tears over that, man. Yeah, but the thing is, though, I want to go to the, to the stage you're going to. I want to win that Champions League. It's a superior competition. Yeah, well, you're not going to. We'll, we'll win it before you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So you win it, then? I, I didn't say that. I said we'll win it before you. <laughs> well, listen. Let's just, yeah, you're going to win it, then. A lot of talk. A lot of talk. That's what I'm saying, man. But come in, man. You know, Huey, when's the Champions League final for you for, man? When is a it? 3rd of June? June. June. Will be there. 10th. 10th. Right, yeah, yeah. I will be there. We will be there. We will be there. Are you going to be there? I'll be there. be there. Okay. This is wild, <laughs> man. Are you going to go to it, Huey? Um, uh, if they move it to Lisbon like they say they are, yeah, I'll go. Even if I can't get a ticket, I'll, I'll want to be there. But I don't think I'll go to Istanbul. Because apparently, Why are they trying problem. to move it to Lisbon? Because um, I think, Turkish, you probably know more about this than me. There's some elections. There's an election on, on Sunday, isn't it? And it involves the same guy that there was a coup attempt uh, on a few, oh, yeah, yeah, few yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah. And yeah, I remember that. It, it could all go pear-shaped. So the, 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 the city might be moving mad, to say the least. But is that official, Hugh? Because there's still a lot no, of time. No, 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 no. No chance. No, no, chance no it's not official. But they, the um, UEFA have made an informal approach to the Portuguese FA to see could they make it a thing. So it's it's... No, I've just made a couple of phone calls. It's not happening. Because <laughs> <laughs> I guess they've got time. They can still wait, like, what, till next week to see if... But then again, travelling fans would probably want to book flights and all of that. Everything's been booked, brother. Yeah. Everything's packed, booked. Oh, this is, this is the fourth time they're meant to have it in Istanbul. They don't mind. They, these guys don't care about moving venue. They've done it so many times. Mm, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll pay the money to go somewhere else anyway. The corporates have no problem going. Yeah, yeah. They're true, true. They actually don't give a shit about the fans in these situations. 
They never really want. I don't really want you lot to win it in Istanbul anyway. They never give a shit about the fans when it comes to this this stuff. It's all about um, the corporates. Hundred percent. I respect the hate, though. I mean, you you said the same thing. He'd rather win the FA Cup fight. I respect the hate. Um, I would. I wouldn't say the same. I, it, it was actually Arsenal, Tottenham. FA. Nah, we need the Champions League. I can't yeah, do. man. What are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> 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 I was thinking about it. Not a chance, bro. Not a chance. I'm taking that chance every day of the week. Nah, I'm, I'm shameless about it. I'm, I might fuck losing to them in the cup final. Not that chance. <laughs> Good luck, brother. I respect it. I respect it. All right, cool. I actually. Um, I, oh no, no, I'm not gonna say something. I was gonna say. Go something, you know. No, man, I was going to look like an idiot. Or Everton yeah. dunking on your head top. Now. No, 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 I was going to say, I might be back in Man United after that shout, you know. What, for the FA Cup? Yeah, just, but... Just because you want to see controversy. No, but just like, how can you be talking like that if you want to be a big club and you're worried about little FA Cup just because little Man United now? Because they're little Man United to you lot. You lot, we hear it every time. Yeah. We hear it all the time. You lot are nothing now. You lot this and that. Like, I wouldn't care about Everton. I would not care about Everton. That's what I'm saying. Bro, Real Madrid or Inter Milan, little Everton. Lord. Straight. <laughs> <up. laughs> yeah, but they, yeah. Mentalities, though. This is what I'm saying, isn't it? This is what you call mentalities. No, the thing is, I'm, I actually frankly... Big club mentalities. Give, I, I, I frankly couldn't give a shit what any rival fans think of the way we, we look at this. It's just... I, I, I yeah, think... Yeah. I, think of, I, think, I, th- I agree. Because where you've come from, but the journey that you're on, you will start caring because you'll get more exposure, because you'll get more social pressure, social media pressure, and you lot are feeling it more and more and more and more. Because when rival fans troll you lot, you lot do get out of control. You lot don't like sit there and say, Yeah, yeah, no, we don't care, we don't care. You care. Listen, you I'll care. tell you what. Your fan you... channels, your fan people, you care now because mm. you're big, you're trying to become big city. But the, you lot the, talk the beauty, like little city. The beauty of it is. The question is hypothetical. We can do both. We can still do both. And then, and then it's a different conversation altogether. No, I agree. I think it's you're going to win the conversation triple. altogether. I what think you're winning you the triple. Like That's that? different. Is that like Little City? <laughs> 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 I'm not wrong. Look at the way they're talking. I think they're on the verge of doing the treble and the free peak. I think they're on the verge of mad history. But right. they don't want to, but they want to win the FA Cup against United. No, it's just it's just my childish side. I I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle losing to them in a cup final. It would just be no. Fair enough, brother. Mm. Fair enough. Listen, we're forty two minutes in already. I don't think we've hit a thousand likes. We haven't. We're about thirty off a thousand, but we're one thousand and thirty off two thousand. And you know what to do. Let's get up to two thousand people. Hit the like button if you haven't already. We're gonna get into super chats and make sure you support the man. The all channel links in the description below. I'm gonna get the city super chats up first, and then when we get onto the other clubs, I'm gonna get the other super chats on the other clubs up. MCFC Solo says, "Is or asks is Walker one of if one of if not the greatest right back in Premier League history?" Discuss. Neymar, Hazard, Vinny, and many others say he's the hardest person to go up against. Definitely one of. If yeah, we not... put him in. We put him in a list, didn't it? We put yeah. him in a list. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. He's, he's definitely one of the all timers in the Premier League for right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Anyone disagree? Nope. No. There you go. No. MCFC solo. Um, Aaron says, "Big up Turkish and the panel." Hugh, <laughs> would you lose the FA Cup final to United to win the Champions League? Surely, yes. I've seen loads of City fans say no. You've already got your answer, Aaron. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the super chat. Edro said, Man United fans are twerking when City beat Arsenal. Now they're crying because City have a chance of winning a treble. Football is a humbler. Let's be Real podcast. 1-1, one, one, not ideal, but we've been here before. We're coming for your Champions League home record. Apollo 15. If Carlo does the two-peat post CR7, he's goated. I, like I agree. I agree. Big up, let's be real podcast people. Nice people. And we've got Madrid TV here as well. Never seen a big club <laughs> celebrating a 1 1 draw at the Bernabeu the same way City fans did. No wonder why everyone calls you Little City. Tie ain't over, and we're coming to Etihad to win and go through. Hala Madrid. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you might have catching smoke from Spain. Yeah, man, people are getting worried. A lot of people are getting worried that City might just do something. But we'll see. We'll see. Pick up the Madrid fans in the chat. Talent-wise, KDB's right up there, says Ricky. But he needs to win the Champions League to be in the same bracket as Scholes and Lampard. 
Gerard's not in it as he has zero Premier Leagues. <clears throat> Ray Ray says Real Madrid and Vinny Jr. are City's kryptonite. Perfectly made for City's style. City will drop points to Everton and more after the second leg. Vinny Jr. made Jack look average. Blue Moon. You know what's funny is that is that we're irrelevant, but we're in every fan's mouth. I love how you man hate us, but we're the best team in the country. Facts. Well, uh, the, Blue Blue Moon team. only pops up um, <laughs> spor sporadically. <Yeah>. Very sporadic <laughs> pop ups. I see. <laughs> sporadic pop ups. <laughs> I, I think I think he has a point though. It's funny how you're all getting so stressed that us it's with not, our small our small club mentality it's might not stress. Go and do the whole lot. Grizz, you mean you're about to say the same thing? They're not used to the attention, and it's like they don't want it. And I don't understand why. You are top of the Premier League. You are in a Champions League semi final. You're gonna get attention. The That's reason why. Works. The reason you why you're in every fan's mouth. Yeah. You don't no, want no, it. They no, leave. No, no, no. There's, there's, there's a reason. Come on. There's, there's a come reason. There's a reason you're in. Move. You don't care about City there's for ninety nine percent. You don't like the attention. Move. Come on. The reason. The reason why you're in every fan's mouth is because you're about to win everything. Mm. That's why this is what you, you, get. you are relevant. You're, you're very relevant. Apparently. You're very relevant, but you lot are happy to be irrelevant. Make it make sense. They they're they probably the, they're probably the least hated in the big six. They are. Of course they because are. Even after all this, I'm not gonna lie to you. After a day or two, I'm gonna move on with my day. Whereas if someone else won it, I'd be fuming for a few weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I can't lie to you. I don't really get the the oh would rather beat United over the FA Cup thing. You've won the FA Cup like how many times in the last couple yeah. of years? Like that's why I brought it up the Champions League. The Champions <laughs> League. I, like I get it. You're saying that you believe that your club, the way you, the way you're ran, the players you have, the manager you have, is something that's that's an, that's going to be like an eventual outcome, right? But you have the opportunity to win it now, and this is a competition that literally puts you amongst. A very elite comp, a very elite group. Like, how many clubs can say they have won the Champions League? I'm sorry, I, I don't get how you would forego that for for United winning the FA Cup. Like, if United were to win the if United were to win the FA Cup and you won the Champions League, would you honestly? Would that really? And you won the Champions League in the Premier League. Would that really diminish your season? No, 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 no. I'm I'm just saying if I had the choice of both. I would rather beat them in the first ever Manchester Derby FA Cup final because the winner of that will hold it over the other forever. It's one of those things. It's they a matter of pride. Right. But, they, but that's what I'm saying. They, they can't hold it over you because you've literally won the Premier League and the Champions League. There's no argument that Man United fans can give to you. They're, they're no, listen, listen, I yeah, get they what you're saying. They'd say more I, Champions I, Leagues. And more leagues. Uh, Said has, yeah. has an argument. Don't worry. I, I get I get what you think <laughs> I'm being crazy here. I get has something. I'm being crazy. But I just can't. I just can't. Fathom the idea of losing to them in a cup final. That's it. But I get why you think it's bonkers. I'm not, I, I think, think, I think, I think the generation me. after you will, will, you know what I mean, will get it. I think your generation, the last generation, won't get it. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. when, in all my group chats, all the lads say the exact same thing. I think most City fans of my age and older are like, no, do not lose to them in the cup final. Mm. Ronnie says, Blue Moon always waffling on here. Your team is on steroids, man, seckle. Yeah, great, group. it's great, great because you know Blue Moon gets to get a super chat read out and he just chats bare shit every week, so it's good. <laughs> Ronnie calling them out, big up man. Send more super chats calling out Kevin Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true though, isn't it? Man sends four ninety nine super chats and gets his waffle comments read out. He's supporting the show, man. He's part of the community. No, big up, no, big up, no, big up, big up. He's part of the fabric, man. No, 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 hundred percent. No, no, big up, big up. No, no, big up, Blue Moon, man. <laughs> yeah, big up, big up, Blue Moon, man. He's, he's He's our, he's our guy. He's our guy. Like, get, I, I just I just want him to be we, here in the dark times. I remember 100%. when he left Steve. He left Steve in the cold, in the pouring rain on his own after he was a missing. tough night. After a tough night in pool, I didn't see Blue Moon missing. for weeks. I was calling Blue Moon, Blue he's Moon, missing. where are you? <laughs> the thing is, he wouldn't, he wouldn't come to the table. He wouldn't come to the stage. It was ridiculous. Listen, I don't think he's a real person, man. It's an human. He keeps saying, yeah. he keeps saying he's sitting here. I'm going to see him. I'm going to see him. Man said, I don't think he's a real person. Well, do, you, do you want to open up a blue moon? Do you want to have a blue moon? Debate? Right, you know what, 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 moon what, debate? what do you mean? It's not a real person. No, no, you, you know, know what it is. The guy <laughs> keeps saying there. Can I have like, a blue moon? That. Like, I think it's a burner account. Like, it's one of the people that like, it's, it's a burner account because I've generally he said I've seen you on that, but I've never seen him around. He's shook it. He's shook it. He's shook. 
Like, you keep saying I've seen you on that, but bro, like, Smash is a small place. Like, I would have seen you somewhere. I would have, like, bumped into you. I would have said hello. Like, nothing, bro. So, he's anonymous. Let's meet up, bro. He, he moves up, in man. the shadows. He moves in the shadows. He's a mysterious know, guy. Man. Blue man. He's a blue mysterious blue guy. Blue. <laughs> Oh, mate. Um, Sinas says, Madrid fan here, we need to improve our squad significantly before next season. Regarding next week, yeah, yeah. I know it's tough, but we've been there and done it 14 times. Blaze says, Madrid have hammered Liverpool at Anfield and Chelsea in England already, so why should they worry about going to the empty head with only Hugh, Big Steve <laughs> and expressions? <laughs> That's quite funny. I'll give him that. <laughs> Joe says, "What are you not saying about Kane as Benzema's replacement? Would be nice. Would be a nice fit with Jude as well. Keep an eye out. Would be wonderful. But I think he's trying to break the Premier League record now. In my opinion, moving to Madrid is. I, I would be, if he had the opportunity to go to Madrid and he rejected that for the Premier League record. I don't know how. I I don't know, man. That for me, I just feel like that's a great opportunity to go to Madrid and 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 just do a Gareth Bale and really." Hit the high heights of your career now and, and cap it off with some trophies and some some glory. I don't know. I don't know what. What do you think? He's Hogs? definitely he's definitely staying here for that. Yeah, he he definitely is staying he's here. Definitely. Like, would he you find that, that odd statue, if he rejected that? That statue, Matisse. It's that statue, isn't it? Tell I get it. If it's, like, if it's Bayern Munich, I get it. But it's like it's Real Madrid. Like now we're talking. No, nah, I think it's tough, man. Like for him, he wants he wants that prem he wants that Premier League record. So I could yeah. see him knocking it back. But if it was me. I'm going to Real Madrid, man. That's literally the biggest <laughs> club. That's the that's the biggest club in world football. Yeah, like you're second on the list. That's enough, man. Come on. Mm. Second, I'm not asking literally... you to do it for Bayern Munich. Like no disrespect. You're second, to second on the list. You Real go to Real Madrid, Madrid and you play with elite players, bro. Elite, elite players, and you test yourself at the very highest level. It's a no-brainer for me. I'm going Real Madrid if I was mm. him. Hundred percent. I had the option. I, I actually agree with you as well. More than um, you can believe. It makes sense. <laughs> Amar says, I agree with Tobes. A kanji is very average, gets cooked more than off more more than often, but it's never shown because City dominate possession. Kiefer says, Said named three players. Name the rest. B team midfield would be Phillips, Peroni, Cole Palmer. Chelsea has a Chelsea has way better depth than City. There you go. We have a lot of... But Chelsea depth. have more... Uh, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't agree that they have better depth. I wouldn't call it better so depth, but I would say we have, a, yeah. we have depth. They have a bigger squad. Yeah, we have not more depth. depth. Um, I would say it's 90-10 in City's favour right now. If they drop points, If they drop points versus Everton or Chelsea, it's 60-40 since City's last two games oh. are hard. Matisse, help us talking about the title race, not Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> Alex says Oh can't, wow <laughs> It can be kept players like Saka and Rodrigo quiet I don't believe an average defender does that He is not at Diaz or Stone's level But he's not average Fact those um, The reason this footy show is the best on socials What? The reason this footy show is the best on socials Needs no further explanation than that opening half hour of tonight's offering keep up the level lads thank you appreciate marco big really up. appreciate it big up, bro. Big up. dj tay hugh i'm a fellow city fan but to be honest i will take champions league any day over the fa cup against united by the way my username is hete oh listen wow. I, I i get anybody who feels like that and i get why i might come across a bit crazy but just my honest thoughts hmm. Big up Hetty. Ryan says, big up, big up Ryan, man. Big up the panel and show as usual. Been a while, but City are the least hated team in the big six. But Hugh saying you'd rather beat United in the FA Cup than Champions League final is mad as you'd have two trophies over them. Like I said, I respect the hate. Blue Moon Super Chats are trash. Blue Moon Super Chats are as trash as the beer. <laughs> of everyone's. I see someone no, said no, we might put him off, man. Listen, yo, Blue Moon, come back. <laughs> <laughs> come back come we, we didn't mean to we didn't, we didn't mean it like to, uh, we like need us. to meet we need to meet this guy one day someone said to... um ai earlier someone said chat gpt i was nah how can they call him chat gpt <laughs> <laughs> ahmed said as a city fan champions league 100 percent. so i disagree with you but if we win both the fa cup and champions league not gonna lie beating united will be a little more sweeter than beating ac or inter mm. 
Um, we, uh, that that's that's something I'm interested to see is like the 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 reaction and the response to your body when you when you when the full time whistle blows versus United in the FA Cup versus Champions League final against someone that's not a direct rival because we all know the bigger competition but obviously the rival. So Hugh, report back to us if if, if you win both, just let us know how you felt. I want to know, man. It's going to be. I'll, I'll I'll be at both. I will be at both. I will give you. <laughs> I'll do be the vlogs. No, I'll be making content. You will see it all live. Grizz. <laughs> Grizz, you asked for him to come back and he's back and he's and he's mentioning you, Grizz. You're 50 plus, shush. <laughs> Why does that matter, Blue Moon? <laughs> Why does that matter? We're all going to be 50 what plus way one to day, start. inshallah. What way We're to all going to be 50 plus. <laughs> um, actually, Matisse, I did send a super chat when we lost against you lot in the Champions League, but Turkish didn't read it. And oh. Saeed's talking about waffling. You can't, you can't put the ball in my court, Blue Moon. Chipping Campbell's <laughs> hilarious, man. He's lashed out now. <laughs> Oh, he's, lashed, he's lost it. He's lost it. Is that lost it? <laughs> head's gone. Head's gone. <laughs> head's gone, head's gone. <laughs> um, all right, cool. That's all of the ones I have in right now. So let's get into um, the predictions. Man City, they have Everton away this Sunday, right before the Arsenal game against Brighton. And it is a big one, like um, Hugh said. Wait, let me just see. Charlie said a couple more super chats have come in. Memphis says, rivalry aside, I'd rather see one of the Milan teams winning Champions League over Madrid or City. What are your <laughs> thoughts? Yeah, yeah, I would no. agree. I would agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I'd rather see City win it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I agree, Memphis. Charlie says, Hugh has a point. Imagine getting slapped up by Wankfest United. At least losing to Madrid is understandable with all the heritage and that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Hugh, Everton away. Yeah, Everton. man. Big game, man. Big, big game. Like I said, I think if we win this, the league is, is it's close to done. It's close to done for me because we can afford those couple slip-ups. So, you know, cup final settings. Um, I don't think it'll be as rotated uh, as maybe some of you think. I think it'll be quite similar possibly to what played against Real Madrid because um, that's the stage wrap. That's what you got to do. I'm going to say 2-0 Man City. 2-0 Man City. How many changes do you think you'll make? Um, Maximum two for me. Maybe do you think Laporte. the changes you make will be impacted by the changes Real potentially make? No, Real will put out a whole different team. They're playing Getafe yeah. this weekend. The league's finished. They'll put yeah, out a whole really last fun. B team. So we're not in that position, unfortunately, because we're fighting for multiple trophies. But I think we'll do maximum two. Maximum two. Ah, right, cool. 2-0. Saeed. Yeah, I'm going for two as well, man. Two nil city. Two nil. Grizz. Three one. Three one city. Tobes. Um two one man city. Two one man city. Matisse. Um <clears throat> I'll go three one city. Three one. Two one Everton. What you got? A He's doing the in it. You got a He's hope. doing the in it. I, I would have predicted a, a city win for him because then he gets points. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Ah, listen, Matisse is done. He's at the bottom. He's finished for him. So I can I can take risks now, man. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so <laughs> but this is like yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I didn't even think that. <laughs> Oh mate, um, we're, right, cool. We're finished. Absolutely washed. <laughs> no, no, no. I refuse to. Like, I refuse this, man. Like you guys can, you guys are playing Newcastle and uh, Man United two out of the last four games. Who? Like, Who? Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. What you want me to do? Oh, something? Wait, Newcastle have to go to Stamford. No, they're playing Man City. We're playing Man City, brother. No, but, but you got Man City. United and Newcastle as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your last yeah. three games? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rough, brother. There's no way. Look, <laughs> look, look. They've been <laughs> atrocious. They've been embarrassing. One of the worst football clubs in Europe right now, from like as in from top to bottom, right in every way. Yeah. Surely they got to pull off one result out of that three. One result. Like Man City, I don't care. Like lose to Man City five six. No, I don't give a shit anymore about Arsenal. All right, I done with Arsenal. But <laughs> for this, for Matisse, I'm I'm rising. You know, this next couple of weeks there's a campaign. I'm yeah, Todd Bowley's whatever army. 
Bro, I'm there. You go. got to do you got to do something for me, bro. We need Chelsea to go free for free in the last three, man. Bro, we need Chelsea, do sign against Newcastle or Man United. One of them. Surely nah, you can't I... get beat up in all three. No, listen. Listen, everybody here. No. Everybody here <laughs> has been preying on our downfall for the longest. <laughs> no, no. You can't. You can't. You've That's been, so bad of you. Lads, been, yeah, lads after enjoying, three. One, two, Chelsea. No, 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 no. Chelsea. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. They've been slandering you all season. And now, oh, you're shocked. Oh, you're shocked. So, listen. Oh, you're scared. You've been enjoying, so now you're really going to enjoy. You're going to enjoy the lack of competitiveness that we have to bring no, to no, the no. table. You're going to enjoy Frank Lampard. Enjoy us being on the beach. You're going to enjoy that three six one. You're going to enjoy it. Watch it, humbler, crumbler. Enjoy it. Arsenal, Liverpool. This is for you, okay? Frank Lampard. We're Lampard's oil brothers, Frank... Matisse, isn't it? We're oil brothers. We, we look after you. No, 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 no. We're not no oil brothers anymore. That's Frank that. Lampard's one, one. blue Finish. terrific army has got Finish. signed one game. Even at home to Newcastle in the last game. Home to Newcastle. Go out with a bang. Count Come me on. out. Felix, Shy Havertz, all of these men. Mudrick. Count. It was Bournemouth, man. It was Bournemouth. No disrespect to them. They got talk, to me, talk to me about pre-season. I'm not interested. Talk to me about pre-season. Yeah, exactly. Next season, man, new Pochettino, new yeah. vibes, man. Mean, this now there's done, no man. way they can end the season with three defeats in a row. Why not? <laughs> why why not? not? Why not? <laughs> you tell me why, 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 we, why, we, why can't we do that? Nah, it is six in a row. This is six in a row before you did that. six in a row. Why can't we? Listen, I, 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 you, did you see my 007 video? Did you see that? Yeah, man. You seen that? This, I, and you, you don't think this team can go three defeats in a row? Bro, your video oh. was... Amazing. Legend. Everyone needs to go and check that out. That's next level shit, yeah. But I'm telling you, man, if you if you take something off Man United and Chelsea, uh Man United or Newcastle, it's just one, just one. Just take sign off them. Stop not um, including City though. We need to include City in that, Chris. Come on. <laughs> That's you, innit? You do your own begging. Innit? I'm, you, I'm begging right here. I'm so begging. Man. Listen, like he's, not, he, he's not he's not Earl Brothers with you anymore. He's got an American owner. He's nah, our brother now. Our brother now. Oh my lord. Brothers <laughs> fall out. Never fought out. Look at the talent, at the talent in that team. By the Chile. Funded by oil. As now you James. rate the players. Now you rate the players. Enzo. <laughs> this is sad. This is sad. You were calling him. No, but Chris, you were calling him Zombia yesterday. Yeah. The other day. Zombia. 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 Life's different. Uh, life, life, life is different. No, I, I think life's different. If I could choose right Page. now, if I could choose right now, I would have Liverpool to finish fifth. No more late surgeons. No more last 10 games hype, right? You the whole season. You participate the whole way through. No more silliness. No more foolishness. You're turning nasty. You're and turning Arsenal. Nasty. And Arsenal. I don't even think I even have to speak on my intentions. On my intentions for you, man. So, no. So, you want you, United You want United to finish listen, in the top four? I don't, I don't want United. I'd prefer Brighton or Aston Villa. However, exactly. beggars can't be choosers right now. Do you know what I mean? And and Liverpool, you, you like to do this little last gasp hurrah <laughs> nonsense at the end. And I'm not... I don't like it. It's annoying me now. You know what all I mean? I'm exactly. saying... All it's I'm annoying. saying... Look, I Same. don't believe... I don't believe we'll get top four. I believe mm. Man United will hang on. Yeah? But anyhow... Anyhow, and Eddie Howe, if they both, if <laughs> they Howe. both fall, and Liverpool get in the top four, you already know. You, you, you already know. I like this super chat that just came in. You are asking a homeless man for change, both of you. Turkish and you Chris, already know. You, you, you see my team on the side of the street eating sweet corn sandwich with no chicken, and you are now coming to me for change. You're asking me for money. Imagine. Brother, Imagine. listen, listen. The struggle for Champions League is a humbler. Yeah, I bet. But I'm ready to, living, I'm have you heard the Europa League theme tune? You're gonna love it. Dun, 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 heard, dun, it in, heard it in uh, Jurgen Klopp's for you. first season. We're gonna win that anyway, so yeah, that's the only trophy he ain't won. So exactly. I'm a win-win. I'm a win-win. Complete win. the set. Go and complete the set. I'm a win-win. Yeah, go complete the set, bro. Go and complete the set, man. Anyhow, we get top four. You lot all in trouble. Don't go anywhere for a week. You should have believed in your team. You can't really say anything. You could see the top four. I'm still saying. I'm still saying. I'm still saying it. So you're just going to come out and just, yeah. No, because we left it too late. But you know what? You know, Big Six, we're shameless, right? You proved it with La Pioche today. I have to, so be, so on, have to be honest. honest. <laughs> you I have to be you, honest. He was proved it with not um, with saying he would rather win the FA Cup. Tobes has proved it by not watching Spurs since December the 13th. That's Turkish cool. is, you know, he's sitting <laughs> on the fence. And Matisse, you ain't your football focus. We already know what our game is. 
I'm gonna be the same. <laughs> I have to be it's honest. Good. It's a it's a win win yeah. situation between Grizz and Sai. I'm gonna be whoever the same. gets it and whoever doesn't get it, one of you all is getting cooked. So it's 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 fine. One of you. I ain't cooked. getting cooked. We're not getting it. Mm, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Tactics. 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 I'm tactics. Not in tactics. Tactics. I'm not in tactics. Tactics. Ah, right, cool. Um, some super chats have come in on Chelsea, but we haven't gone into Chelsea really yet. So when we do get into the Chelsea Forest game, um, I'll make sure I get those super chats in. Since we've just done City, we might as well do Arsenal next, and then move on to United. Some news about ownership and a big game against Wolves to look to, to bounce back after that West Ham defeat. But regarding Arsenal, I mean, it's it's all lies on City, in my honest opinion. We've got a, we've got a hope and pray that that City drop points. I'm with you though. I think. If it doesn't come against Everton, um, if, if they go get the three points, and with Matisse, you can't rely on Chelsea. Um, you, you cannot rely on Chelsea. So if they get the three points at Goodison, it's hard to see Man City dropping points in their last two games of the season. Yes, both are somewhat difficult ties, Brighton and Brentford, but back-to-back drop points after probably reaching the final where... That final's on the 10th of June, so they'll be fully focused on the Premier League. Yeah, it's, it, it's a long shot. So if Arsenal have any hopes and dreams of a title this season, then Everton have to take that enough off Man City. Regarding us, Matisse, you mentioned it earlier. Um, Zinchenko's out, Saliba's out. Saliba was expected um, after his lack of a return a few weeks ago and Arteta's press conferences recently, it was always looking dubious with him. So he's out. Apparently doesn't need surgery, which is good news. And Zinchenko's out. And like Tobe said, it's, it's probably, I don't want to use this phrase again, but at this moment in time, a blessing in disguise um, because he was, you know, a bit iffy defensively recently and Tierney came off the bench against Newcastle and I, I think done, done a, adequate job, a good job. He played a part in the second goal. We looked a lot better defensively, um, stopped conceding as many chances because Newcastle wore at us. So I want to see Tierney start anyway. Um, even if Zinchenko was was fit, I would have been starting Tierney against Brian. I think he deserved it. And, and I want to keep him this summer. It's going to be very difficult if Newcastle are in for him, closer to Scotland. Um, they can offer him probably, you know, just as much wages-wise, if not more. But he doesn't seem like a player to me that that will be demanding of a high wage packet. If he's closer to home, I think that's something that'll make him happier. So, uh, hopefully, Tierney starts the last few, and he performs in the last few. And Arteta can convince him if he needs convincing to stay because we're in Champions League again, and, and we're going to rotate the squad a lot more. Um, ideally, that would be perfect. Regarding Brighton, off the back of their worst performance and result of the season. Their, their Champions League hopes are gone. If they, if they had beaten Everton, then I would have said there's still a slim chance with the way Man United are playing. But after that Everton loss and the way they lost it at home as well, Champions League's done, but Europa League is still very much a big possibility for them. So I expect them to to bounce back. They've got a few injuries as well. Um, Solly March probably being the one that, that stands out the most for me. Um, so really, we can't complain too much about Saliba Zinchenko out now. I understand complaining about Saliba out a few weeks ago where, in my opinion, it did play a part in costing us um, the title when I look back at the West Ham-Southampton games. But against Brighton Sunday, Arsenal should win. We, we, we should get the job done. It should be a good game, though. I expect, I expect Brighton to give it a goal. Brighton have won the last two at the Emirates, 3-1 in the League Cup this season, 2-1 at the end of last season. But same way Arteta, you know, used revenge as, as the motive against Newcastle last Sunday, we've got to use revenge as the motive against Brighton this Sunday because they was part of our top four hopes being dashed at the end of last season. We've come a long way since, but we should still use that as motivation. And we beat them 4-2 away from home um, in January. So I expect, to, I expect goals, but I expect to win the game again. So if there's nothing else from the rest of the panel, we can get straight into predictions. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. nothing. Just the Talib, obviously, Sinchenko. But to be honest with you, I think everyone in there kind of hand on hearts knew Talib was out for the season. So I don't think it's a massive blow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and Sinchenko, when you've got Tierney there, so, and I think he's not been on form anyway. Obviously, you don't want anyone injured. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, Brighton just, just don't finish off the dinner, man. Like, they got battered by Everton. But 
they just they can't score. I don't know, I might jinx it, but I don't know, man. I just can't see anything but Arsa win me, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, all right, well. let's do predictions then. Actually, we've got a super chat, I believe, just came in on Arsenal. Um, huge, you want to just answer this question about match day members getting FA Cup tickets because I don't know, I don't have a clue. Um, I, I, I doubt it, man. I think even me with my season ticket, it'll be pretty hard for me to find one. So I, I don't think match day members will, will get one, but I don't know. Keep an eye out, man. Shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll see if I can help you out. <clears throat> there you go. Um, Ryan says, with Zinchenko being out, Tierney playing these last three games is a blessing in disguise, and hopefully his performances persuade Arteta to keep him as well as Mikel doing his part. Arsenal three, Brighton one. You know why I didn't want to say blessing in disguise? Because then I knew I'd have someone at least saying blessing in disguise FC in the fucking comment section, and I've seen it a couple of times already. <laughs> <laughs> um, love for the super chats, Ryan. I think that's the only one regarding Arsenal. Yep, it is. Cool. 3-2 Arsenal win. 3-2? 3-2? 3-1. Um, I got a cut now as well, but I'm going to say 3-1 Arsenal. 3-1 Arsenal. Hugh, don't forget to send me the rest of your predictions, yeah? Yeah, yeah no problem. I'll send it shortly. A bit, lads. I've got a rest of you. Take my bro. Saeed? Uh, I'm going to say 2-1 Arsenal. 2-1. Grizz? Mm, 3-1 Arsenal. 3-1. Tobes? Uh, I'm going to say 2-1 as well. 2-1 Arsenal. 2-1. Matisse? 2-0 Arsenal. 2-0. All Arsenal wins across the board. All right, Cool. There was some super chats on United. Should I do them now or should I do it at the end? We'll do it at the end. But yeah, Saeed, you got to bounce back against Wolves. But yesterday, some news broke. I'm not sure how accurate it is or how reliable it is. But it says the preferred choice um, of the Glazers in terms of, of sale is, is to Jim Ratcliffe. Yes! Come on! In the Ratcliffe. Yes! In your, really in your space. In your space. Yes. Really going to do this? Right. Wow. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant news. Because he's a Man United Let's... fan. Put the Manchester back in Man United. Love it. Love it. <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. We don't care, mate. Like, he's a Chelsea season ticket holder. That's one of you lot. Nah. Don't... Is he? No, 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 he's one of you lot. Like, he nah. ain't, he ain't like, We have a put you. up in the block. There's no way. Yes, There's no we way. got an op in the block. He's no, an ops, no, no, man. No, no. We don't want no ops, you get me? We want no, loyal no, no, people. No, no, no. And he ain't that guy. And if I'm being honest with you, yeah, the Daily Express, they reported that Qataris were the preferred bidder. And then what happens a day later? The Sun reports that uh, Jim Racklin is the preferred bidder. It's tick for tack. It's their PR team on overdrive. And it's obviously Jim Racklin's team on overdrive. Today, we heard from Ben Jacobs, very, very good guy. He come out and said, nobody knows anything. There's no preferred bidder. There's any, uh, what do you call it? Um, Rain Group haven't uh, said anything to any party that they had a preferred bidder. It's all a lot of talk, a lot of noise. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of tired of it. That's why you haven't seen me with a robe lately. I've not been, you know, I've not been feeling Qatari. I've not been feeling anything. You know, so I've just been <laughs> chilling. I've been thinking about my United. My United stress. I've been thinking about how these men are going to score goals. Like, that has been external. The feeling is there. I've just been out in the mist. Right now, I just want to know who's scoring the goals, who's gonna play, who's gonna who's gonna win us a game. Like, but no, I think for me, if I'm being honest with you, there's not really much going on. It's a lot of just talk and noise. Like that's all it is, really. And for me, like I said to you, Jim Ratcliffe isn't welcome. On my behalf, he isn't welcome. Old Trafford, I think he's a snake. I think he's in in the bed with the Glazers. And ultimately, yes, they might leave in three years once they're there, but. Who knows? Like that could that could just be a saying. They could just say, you know what? Yeah, you could buy us out in three years potentially. Like soon, the moment you you let them through the door is a moment for me. You know, I mean, you're not welcome in it. So, no to Jim Ratcliffe, and obviously glazes out. That's just my that opinion on that. What one. is the di- what, what's the difference? Because I read something where the difference between the bids are five billion from the Sheik for the whole club, or three billion from Jim for the for fifty percent of the club. Yes, but the the problem is Jim Ratcliffe has has, has given a better, better package for the deal. Jim, and it's the, the the Qataris have made the the, the biggest bid, but ultimately 
they don't it's a better deal for them the Jim Rackers deal is a very very and well more kind of all-rounded bid for them so ultimately the package suits the Glazers more they can stay and then later on they can leverage whatever they want to leverage and then go out more if the share prices are higher in a few years time so it suits them more for them to stay knowing that they can get some more money out of, of Jim Ratcliffe now obviously they're waiting for the Qataris to maybe put a billion more in they're obviously kind of thinking, hold on a minute, we've, we've put a, we, we've, we've been in more than, than, than Jim Radcliffe. So there's a lot of, I think, chess game going on. I'm not going to lie to you. I've just got this weird feeling that Jim Radcliffe is just here as an opt, you know, and he's just driving up the bids. And then later on, yeah, like he just goes out and said, right, guys, right, you know what, yeah, here's, here's a billion for you or whatever money there is. And we've just kind of played the Qataris. I genuinely think that this is because if, 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 if he's got a better package, why don't you just do it then? Why don't you give it him? Why don't you give him Jim Rackley? What's all his hold-up for? We've been two, mm-hmm. three weeks since the actual deadline. What is the hold-up? If he's got a better package, then give it to Jim Ratcliffe. Get it over and done with. But mm-hmm. where's it? What's, what's up to the deadline? So I'm not going to lie to you. It's getting to the point where I'm like, bro, are you on, are you just doing an inside job here, Jim Ratcliffe? Like, you're just trying to drive up the bids. So then later on, you kind of, you know, <laughs> you could get a little bit of billion on the side and be like, yeah, nice one, Jim Ratcliffe. Like, it's just, it's a mad one. But ultimately... There's not, we don't know yet, and this is a this is peak because the season and the transfer window is what two or three weeks away, so it's not good, man. It's not a good look. It really isn't a good look. He's hella rich, though. I mean, he, he's got nah, a man, man in Britain, isn't he? Nah, he's, man. He's I spoke man to a, a Nice fan. I spoke to a Nice fan, and like I said to you, man, he he did give some good points in terms of the way Nice were back in the day. Um, he's given an investment. I mean, 200 million, I think it is, over the last three or four years. But he's just very, very surprised as as to why he's gone to Man United when they know he hasn't got the, the funds available. and he, he can't do it. So they're surprised. And ultimately, we will find out that he hasn't got no money and he will probably get a, a, get a, a money from, from a loan, whether that's from the from the from a bank or whatever. So for me, he's, he's bluffing right now. And sooner or later, you're going to get caught out. And we don't want a situation with the Glazers. Where we, we, we've got so much depth in the club, so for me, I just think he's bluffing, man. And you know, it is what it is. But that's just the name of the game, isn't it? Like he's doing what he needs to do, and that's fair in his business. So yeah, JP Morgan, yeah. So I don't know, man. But it is what it is, man. We got bigger things to worry about, man. We got Wolves, man. Wolves, talk to me. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying, bro? I mean, you're at home. You need, you need to get the three points. You're gonna win. I can't lie, man. I think for me, I'm not confident, but I just think we'll see how. I'm I'm looking at a and 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 kind of edgy edgy kind of one nil. Uh, Wolves are a bogey team for us. I think we've only won one in the last how many of the game. I think we drew when they when they got promoted. I think we lost. I think we drew nil nil again, and I think we won one nil late. Marcus Rashford winner, and I think last season we lost there. They beat us. Um, Ruben never scored. I think it was so. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really confident against Wolves. They're a very bogey team for us at home, even away from home as well. So I'm not confident at all. We, we, we can't score goals. You know what I mean? The, the team looks tired at the minute. Obviously, it's not an excuse, but it looks like the, the, the shot now. We've had a week off, which is very, very good. I think that will be mentally for the team and physically. It's a good, good thing. But ultimately, you know, we've got to score goals. We've got to make sure David Hare doesn't do another blunder. It's a lot of pressure, man. There's a lot of... Like, there's a lot of eyes on this week, man. United, how do they bounce back? You know, they've done that well this season. Every time we've had a, a little bit of a setback, we actually have done well. So that is a good thing. That is something that I'm, I am positive about. But ultimately, we are lacking goals. Nobody's scoring goals. You know, Rashford's had, a obviously, a bit of a situation going on now where he's not scoring as many goals as, as, he, as he once was. So we are lacking goals. Maybe the introduction of Garnacho might give us a bit of you know, something, a little bit of boost, because he's the one that sometimes I feel like for me, you know, gets me on the edge of my seat and gives us that that, that kind of feeling that, you know what, we're going to do something. So maybe that might happen. But if you were to give my prediction, I'd probably say 1-0 me. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not confident, but I think we're just about getting a win. 1-0. Hmm, yeah. Let me put that straight in. Grizz, obviously we didn't see you on Monday, but your point behind United... Obviously, United got a game in hand, so you, you you're keeping an eye out on this one. But <laughs> you know, I I feel like I feel like City. In what sense? Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> After I'm happy day. to be here, bro. Look, two weeks ago, 
bro, yeah. bro, two weeks to go. I'm happy to be here. I'm smiling because, yo, what is this? What is this? Yeah. We've, we've given it a race. We made it a little exciting. I've got you on the edge of your seat. Bro, Newcastle, Newcastle as well. Newcastle, Man United. Like, first and foremost, we still have to handle our business. Yeah, we yeah. Still have to oh, you will, but games. I think you will. We still have to win three games in a row, which will mean to win nine games in a row. And we haven't done that except in our title winning season. So it's a tall order. Winning nine games in a row in the Premier League ain't easy. Mm. But if we do, and then if you drop points or Newcastle drop points and we get top four, the world is in trouble, my friend. You know what's crazy, Ian Cruz, yeah? They've got a tough game, you know, Newcastle, you know, against the Leeds who are fighting for their lives. So that might... I do have- I'm happy to be here, bro. There's no pressure on us. Absolutely zero pressure. All the pressures on Newcastle, Man United right now. We obviously have the, the only little bit of a down thing, and it's all psychological. It don't really mean anything, but we play on Monday. We play last. I wish we could have played first oh. and got the win out of the way and then see how Newcastle, Man United respond because they haven't been responding the last couple of weeks. Two defeats in a row, innit, for for you and for something like Newcastle. I don't know if it's the same for Newcastle or something, but... It's mad exciting to be here right now, man. Um, I'm just happy to be here, like little city. You know what I mean? Just happy to be here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Our home form, like I said, it's been it's been amazing. But like I said to you, the, the psychological edge I now think, when you need to win it, it's different. I think, you, I, I think I think I think I think the I think the fact that you've got three games at home, you lucky pieces of shit. You got three games at home, you'll win three Against games two at home. Who are relatively comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll you'll win your three games at home. If you had one more away game, it could yeah, have we been. Have, we have an away game. Yeah, In Bournemouth between, away. Bournemouth, Bournemouth away. away. Even Chelsea. <laughs> Even Chelsea beat them, so. Mm. Chelsea games Old Trafford, yeah. Sorry? Chelsea games Old Trafford, yeah? Yeah, Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 On Thursday, in two weeks, I think it is. Two weeks on Thursday. I think mm. the race for top four is tighter than the race for the league. Yeah, the league's done. Mm. League, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I think the summit may be happening. What in the league? Yeah, yeah. In the league? No, no. It's not. It's, it's pretty much the same. It's it's, it's a four. Finished. It's a four point gap. Top four, four point yeah. gap. It's finished, brother. No, but the difference being, City don't look like drawing points. Yeah, yeah, Newcastle and United look a bit rocky. You know? mm. Little rocky got side wearing UV shirts and shit. You understand? Life's different. <laughs> Madness. What are you saying, Grizz? Prediction wise. Oh, who we got? We got uh, Leicester. No, away. no, 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 not you. Not you. Oh, sorry, Man United. Sorry, sorry, Man United. Focus. Yeah, yeah, comfortable, man. Comfortable, comfortable. Two nil, Man United. Two nil. Yeah, comfortable, oh. comfortable. Yeah, I'm going two nil as well. Hmm. Two nil as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two nil. Wolves ain't got nothing to play for, have they? Mm. they Forty point mark. Chal- um, Matisse. I'll give it. <laughs> I'll give it 1-0 Man United. 1-0. I'll say 2-1 Man United. And Hughes also said 2-1 Man United as well. So that's all the predictions. Everyone going for Man United wins. Like I said, there was some super chats on United earlier. William says, damn, Saeed put in his transfer request real quick, blood. (laughs) That was actually the first super chat in. Big up William, man. Hope you're a good one, guy. Um, Tobes, I expect you to be on Saeed's neck for a while. Wegatov. P.S. Saeed, you're not getting awesome men. Napoli have up the price for him again. Yeah, I've moved on now. I think. Um... Oh, really? <laughs> who's your Who's your next <laughs> target? Who's your... Nah, I think. I don't know, man. I watched. I've watched uh, Vlahovic tonight, and he was. Really... <laughs> this guy. Every time I watch Vlahovic, he's not looking great. I don't know, man. Project Kane. Did anyone say anyone? I just said that. Project Kane. <laughs> Project Kane. Oh my days. He's on the Project Kane thing, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Was you iron up Onana hey, as well? Slapper, <laughs> honestly, this side is actually the biggest slapper ever, man. Bro, he was After all that, Gehea just been warning him. himself out for Oshman. I've been telling him all season, you're not signing Oshman. You can't afford it. I haven't said we're not signing, Oshman. but listen, we're, not we're just Oshman. saying. Oh no. Crazy thing. You have to analyze analyze differently. You know, you have to. to Why didn't you go to the Napoli victory parade? You were were on him that much. Nah, I don't know, man. I can't lie. Should have went, but it was lit. I heard it was lit. (laughs) I mean, um, 
Saeed says, Kevin, Pogba is finished. Take off that shirt, you fangirl. Don't embarrass us even more. <laughs> I said fangirl, you know. <laughs> um, I think that's the United one. No, there we are. Ricky says, Glazers are American owners. This is a classic tactic to get the maximum out of Qatar. Nobody involved in the deal is allowed to disclose such info. Yep. NDAs, man. That's it. And actually, we have one here earlier from Wolves FI. Arsenal missing title and Man U bottling top four. Life can't be any sweeter. Hey. Yeah, but calm down, Man United haven't bowled in it, Wolves. Like, come this back. Is, what's the matter with the Wolves fan? Yeah. Sure, I'm, sure it could be, uh, I'm sure it could be sweeter if there was eight places higher up in the table. Oh. oh. Why are you creating a rivalry now? Like, damn. Damn. Damn, I'm just saying, it's a bit mad that a Wolves fan has sent this super chat. And big up for the super chat. Wolves, it's an orange man, go, one, and, but... go and chat to Chelsea and the man, man. <laughs> <laughs> and and this right, is right, why right. you will not be getting no, no, any just, help no, from us. Go chat joking. to Chelsea and Palace and them, yeah. man. No, man. You see, the, the real the real big dogs have come back out to play. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not getting no help from enemies with his teams. So, so, yeah, no he's help he's from safe. us. Super I don't want to hear it. Frank. No, super. no, there will be no super Frank for you. Super. No super Frank. Super Frankie Lampard. No, 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 no. If you say Lampard's better than Gerard, it's Lampard's better than Gerard. We might, we might, we might do something for you. If you do something, we talk. <laughs> <laughs> set, set the stream up. <laughs> um, that it's for that one. We've got another one for Blue Moon. Big At says Blue Moon has never selected all the images with <laughs> Chat GPT in disguise. <laughs> That's it. We move. What's the next tastiest game here? Oh, well, we just done United. Let's do Leicester Liverpool because Liverpool are just behind United, so they're they're hoping for a slip up. But that's a Monday night, eight PM fixture, Grizz. Leicester. Bro, the, the only mm-hmm. jeopardy is yeah. The only jeopardy is for Liverpool is that this is literally Leicester City's last chance. Like they must, they must get something out of this game. Uh, Preferably a win. It's their last home game, I believe. Is it? No, no, they've got one more. I think they might have one more. Double check on my facts. You know me. Let me check. Um, check. Yeah, yeah, you already okay. know. But, but, but what I'm saying is, yeah, the crowd's going to be out for it. Vardy, possibly one of his last few. Um, what's the word? Games. Games. <clears throat> yeah, man. The, the the playing, the way we're playing, the form we're in, we should go there and win. Yeah, they got West Ham at home final day, but to be honest, okay. they got they got you at home. Then Newcastle away. That's what they I mean. Might, this is their last. Yeah, they, they might be. They might be finished. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have preferred if we played them after the next game. That they, they're definitely down. So, for example, Southampton are down. Right, we know that. Let's yeah, just see. Yeah. This is literally their last hurrah. I don't want to be someone else's good, good, uh, best story of the season. We, I've, I've said this before. We've been Bournemouths. We've been. So many other teams' best story. Leeds is best story of the season. I don't want to be. I don't want to be um, Leicester City's best 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 uh, night of the season. We just need to go there and hopefully with the with the news that Newcastle and United have dropped points because that will give us extra motivation. If not, no problem. We take it to the next week. And in order for us to take it to the next week, we must win. We must go to Leicester City. And when I don't give a shit about formations, pretty Trent Nunes, I don't want to hear no talk. I just want three points and keep up the pressure. And I'm gonna back Liverpool to win two one. Unless they're going down. If they look, oh yeah, we finished them. Yeah, that's it. But that's what I'm saying. If they win, Did you watch them? if they beat us, Did you watch them against Fulham, Chris? Did you watch them against Fulham, Chris? Yeah, it was disgusting. But they got some. They got some well, good players. Wild well, season. Bro, how can a team, Tielemans, Harvey they, Barnes... They, they might not care. That's the problem. Vardy, when you're in that position, you need to care. They got Samari. They got Samari. Madison. Yeah. But when you're down there, though, if you don't care and you're leaving Samari's anyway, crap. it might be a problem. Samari is crap, innit? And they're playing him, Brothers. man. Bro, people Brothers. rate him, you know. I don't, I don't nah, rate him. Nah, nah. People rate him. What's Lil? I agree. Yeah, Lil. I agree. Lil. I agree. At Lil, yeah. At Lil. <laughs> not now. You can have that. You can have. The, I, I actually thought they had too much quality to go down, but when I deeped it and I thought to myself, how many of those players that we're talking about are really going to be there regardless next season? Tielemans wants to leave. Madison wants to leave. Two oh, key players. 
And you know what's yeah. mad? They are playing Seonchu at the back when he's already going to Atletico Madrid next summer. Like what? Like, is he? The guy don't care. Yeah, he is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's too many of them, you know. So too why are they playing them? Like it's smart. They need to stay up. Like, he's their best. That's, that's where they, they went wrong, ever. though. Keeping players that want to go. Yeah. That's where they've gone yeah. wrong. This is their last hurrah. That's where they've guys. gone wrong. You're this right. Their last hurrah. This is their last chance to do something. Their and defense has always been awful. Liverpool have been scapegoats for many a team this season. I just hope. I just wanted to take it to the last game, man, and just chance of top four. Because, bruv, these these are like this. This could be mad for us to finish in the top four after this. If you season, finish ahead of them after a seven 0 beating as well. Oh lord, bro, I'm 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 gone. Me. Oh, you're gone. Oh, I'm telling you, gone. If City yeah. beat you in the FA Cup final, Liverpool finish above you. You're finished. Oh, you're gone. Oh, you're gone. You're finished. Gone. 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 Evaporate. Gone. 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 gone, gone. Evaporate, bro. Keep that. Keep, <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep that shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that shirt. Juve, Juve, Forza Juve. Yeah, La Pioche. Yeah, La Pioche. You better learn Italian, bro. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Forget Mama French. Mia. Yeah, Mamma Mia. Yeah, pasta. <laughs> siempre, <laughs> siempre, mia, pasta. siempre, siempre. Yo, you better learn Chinese. You're finished. Look, I, 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 can I reiterate before people start? I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm. There's no way they're gonna implode. You, this this much. Enough, you just like to stress them. You just like to stress no, no, them. I need to stress it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it. But it won't happen. It will no, happen. Like, just no, relax. No, 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 no. I'm not. I've, I've not said two things. I've said conflicting things. I'm saying it won't happen. It won't happen. But then he's I'm saying, just, I'm just saying, if if it happens, <laughs> keep that shirt on, brother. <laughs> keep that shirt. What on. are you gonna do? Let me ask a question. What are you gonna do? I've been roasted, man. I'm done out here. I know I'm in Europa League, man. I'm, no, I'm, I'm preparing. I'm learning the tunes and everything. I'm, I'm... No, dude. Yeah, yeah. FSG, you know what I mean? Probably not have investors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about us. <laughs> Are you still <laughs> back next year going for a title charge? Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Lad. Why are you nodding your head like you know I me, mean, Toby? Toby, why are you nodding your head like you don't? You think I'm being delusional? Why, you think I'm being delusional? Why are you nodding your head like that? Oh my! Like, talk to me. Don't do little sarky ones in the background. Innit? Face me. <laughs> look up. Look up. Look up. Look up in my eyes and say that. Innit? I'm facing you. I don't actually. Think, you know what? I don't actually think it's impossible for Liverpool to 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 mount a title challenge next year because they've got the right manager, right? Who's done it before. From his team playing poorly to then doing it again. However, I think that you need some money. You need to you need to basically refresh your back line and your midfielders. Three midfielders, centre back. We're coming good again next season. Inshallah. That's all guaranteed, yeah. Three midfielders. Mm -hmm. That's all guaranteed. Wait, wait, if that happens, fair enough, but that's a big if. You're not getting three midfielders. No We're way. That's a big one. And even if you get the three midfielders, they have to be quality. Right. I agree with you. That's that's I agree with you. They yeah, don't come with no ask why no ask why no because I don't know who you're gonna you've sign. Seen, you've seen the hay Listen, free haze I've done. If, I'll, if, I'll, I'll repeat them in You've done many haze. You've done many haze. I keep a note of them. I've that's just seen buys. Listen, if if Arthur Mello signs on a permanent, you're in trouble, you know. I'll get out of here, man. Don't try, don't try this business with me, man. But my guy said I want to play some football before I go. Are you gonna give me minutes? He's like, one of them brothers. He's like Who? one of the guys that send emails on career mode. Like, yo, can I, get, can I get 15 minutes, please? Who? Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Mello. Arthur Mello, I very confidently said around November he won't play a minute for Liverpool and I've been proved right. I've been proved right. Do you have to pay him per appearance or something? No, nah, it's just, he's it's about his man. Right. Why did you sign him, though? The most stupid Bruv, signing ever. It was awful. It was embarrassing signing. Embarrassing. It was it's, it's just indicative of the way we've been run for the last 12 months. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Embarrassing, shambolic, amateurish, all of that. But we have to fix up, and I believe we will fix up this summer. Yeah, <laughs> owners rise. Me, me, and your club love a good loan deal in the key, most vital position in the league. Zakaria, Sal Niguez, and Arthur Mello. Oh shit! Now this is the, the triple headed. This, 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 this the triple beats headed trio. <laughs> yeah, That's this beats Sal Niguez or Arthur Mello. <laughs> Arthur Mello, easy. Easy scrub, yeah, easy, scrub, easy. scrub. Yeah, to be fair, Arthur Mello is clear of both of them because he's not playing mm. the game. But scrub, yeah, imagine, scrub. imagine just getting. I didn't even rate him though. Up. I didn't even rate him, even if he was fit and everything. And all these people were gassed about him. I said, "What, Arthur Mello? Nah, bro, he's mm. too mellow. Nah, man, it ain't happening." Arthur. <laughs> I'd rather, rather sign Arthur Daly, bro. Oh, 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 there's another one here. What's that one that he's played for Arsenal? What was his name? Tim Kallstrom. 
Kim no, Carroll. No, 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 he's Dennis, talking about Dennis. 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 Oh, Dennis Suarez. Dennis Suarez. Oh, Dennis Suarez. Oh, Dennis Suarez. Dennis Suarez. Oh, Suarez. Oh, oh, oh. Nah. Arthur is the worst because he's yeah, the he worst. Hasn't played. He hasn't even played. Arthur's the worst because of the fact that the season we were coming off, we were gassed, we were hyped. We, first, he says we don't we don't need a central midfielder, uh, and then we decide to get a midfielder and we get Arthur Miller. <laughs> Bro, don't talk about it, man. Why are you? I'm in a good mood. We've had a good laugh. Why are you making me like throw my cup in this laptop and shit? Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Tobes. Prediction time. You don't know who's um, playing or where they're playing. I don't anything. know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say... 3-2 Liverpool. 3-2. Please let Toby's, be, Toby's words be prophetic. I'm going to go... 3-0 Liverpool. Three nil. I'm gonna go three one. Hugh's gone three nil as well. Said. I'm gonna go with three one. Three one. All predictions in. All Liverpool wins. Any super chats yet? Philippe says, Grizz, where does Salah rank amongst your greatest players? He's elevated himself to another level, in my opinion. Big up Turkish, fair play for the win. Love, Philippe, hope you're good, my guy. A bit of revenge there on Sunday, but yeah, it doesn't mean much, in my opinion, unless City drop points. Gone. Salah, greatest players ever, Liverpool, Grizz? Top two, top top three, top two. Him and Stevie G for me, personally, on a personal level. Obviously, Kenny Dalglish before my time was monumental. So yeah, in that any any three of that, in that any order. For, for mm. me, for me, by the time he finishes, I reckon he'll be number one. Right now, right, right now, Stevie G for me personally because of the scrubs he was playing with. There's still time. Mahar mm. says, I support United, but do feel Liverpool will challenge. The attack is sorted. They just need two centre mids and maybe one centre back or right back and Liverpool mm. are ready. 100. You agree with that, yeah? Mm. Um, That's it for Liverpool. Let's move. Let me yeah. get rid of that super chat. Aston Villa Tottenham. That is actually a good game. I don't know why I looked past that one earlier, but yeah, Aston Villa Tottenham. Tobes, I know you're done for the season, but it is it, it is a good game. Aston Villa away. Yeah, it is. Um, we've got a pretty good record there, to be honest. Um, but. They, I saw what they did to Newcastle. They absolutely torched Newcastle a couple of weeks back there. They beaten um, United there. They should have beat Chelsea there if not for some fluke, some fluke um, goals and horrendous goalkeeping. Um, well, they're, 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 and obviously they're pushing for Europe as well. They're, we're competing for the same things essentially now. So they've got as big a cent- as big an incentive as we do to to try and go for the win. Um, I'm not sure if that's their last home game of the season. I don't think it is. Um, I'm not too sure. But either way, I can see this being a very difficult game for Spurs. However, I think we've got the players to to actually hurt Aston Villa. I just worry for our defence. But going forward, I would want them to make it an open game of football because I feel like if they make an open game of football, no matter how many goals we ship, we will have enough at our disposal to at least inflict some pain on their side of the pitch as well. So yeah, they play they play Brighton at home on the last day. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. they got they got tough they got tough fixtures. Liverpool tough, away. Yeah, yeah, they got they got tough fixtures to close out the the season. <laughs> so with with them having two out of three home games to close out the season, obviously they'd want to try and capitalize on that as much as possible. I'm desperately hoping and praying that our recent record against Aston Villa since they've been promoted has anything to go by, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Who knows? They need to beat you. They're they're three points behind you, three games to go, same games played. They'd have to beat you. For for a Europa League place, I'd say they'd have to beat you. And even even Conference League, Brighton got two games in hand. They currently sit in seventh. It's a must win for them. It's a must win for them. Um, For us... I feel like if we win, it 
it it it definitely consolidates um a Europa yeah. League position for us, right? So it's uh, in our yeah. best if you don't want to play if you want to play conference if you want to play Europa League instead of conference league, it's in our best interest to go there and, and win. Like we just have to win. So actually yeah. You have, you do have, yeah, you have to win. It doesn't consolidate Europa League though, because Brighton are two points behind you, you have two games in hand, and Liverpool. I think are it five does though. I think it does. The reason why I say that is because I look at Brighton's fixtures. They've got difficult fixtures. We've already predicted that they're gonna they're gonna drop points against Arsenal this weekend. Yeah, yeah. They still have yeah. to play Man City. They still have to go to Aston Villa away from home. So I feel like if we can beat Aston Villa, then for me, I'm. 65% sure that Spurs will be playing um, Europa League football next season. So, yeah, let's see. Any update on the manager situation? Or it's, it's kind of gone quiet. Um, yeah. No update. I think we, we, we know what the situation is now. Nagelsmann is interested. Nagelsmann likes the club. Nagelsmann also doesn't want to join a shit, uh, uh, a shit heap, right? He wants structure. He wants... He wants assurances. He wants some sort of clarity on how he will be able to sort of go about his day-to-day job at Spurs. So he wants to understand who he's going to be working with, who's the director of football. So my understanding, based off what I'm reading on off journals, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is that Spurs are actively looking for a director of football to try and satisfy um, the requirements of Julian Nagelsmann. So um, I'm hopeful that we get him. It looks very, very realistic. Um, contrary to all the news about, oh, Spurs have to go for a settle for all these um, unproven or untested managers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The interest is real. The interest is real. So Spurs would be fools not to take up this opportunity, especially considering they haven't even given Poch a consideration. Fine. If that's the case, go for it. But now you have to make sure that you get Nagelsmann over the line. Any means necessary. Get him in the door. Simple. Well, not simple, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm disappointed in Nagelsmann. I can't lie. Why? <sighs> I just think he can do. I, 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 I think he can do. I think he can do better, and I think he can. You're right. He can do better, and I think, I, I, think you're right. he, I think he should be waiting a bit a bit longer. I think I look at the the way that you guys have gone about the whole Peratici thing, the way that Daniel Levy operates. And the Kane situation, and I just, I just don't see why he's a. Listen, you guys, you guys have asserted yourself as one of the the top six clubs, but I just don't see what's the bigger pill apart from you know the fact that you guys have got a great stadium and and if Levy was to actually push your club in the direction of and um, being ambitious, then yeah, you, there would be a reason to go London and. But I, I just don't, I don't think it's realistic for Nagelsmann. I don't, I don't think he's going to do anything to his managerial CV, but bring it down a peg. I don't, I don't see him enhancing his CV at Tottenham with the way that Levy operates. But that's how he made his name, though. Is yeah, it yeah, true. yeah that's true. Ma- managing, you got to remember managing. who Nagelsmann is, though. He came from yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. a small club. You know, and then he went to... Then he went to, that's, obviously, a big job at... It's, it's not about the size of the club. It's about the trajectory. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the size of the okay. club. I'm looking at the trajectory okay. of the club. I just think Tottenham's trajectory is definitely... In a downward motion until until Levy actually it is, but until, structures structures it, it properly. Yeah, until Levy structures it properly, and Spurs get a manager that that they can put an ethos behind, and oh. he's that type of manager that we can actually build around long term. Like Spurs, Spurs are the type of club that he has worked with more than a Bayern Munich or a PSG or Roma just so far in his career. I get your point uh, absolutely. When you once you've broken into that bracket of managing a big club mm. then you want to associate yourself with big clubs for your next move and stuff but respectfully they're not checking for him right now they're not checking for him I think you wanted him apparently he didn't like the the lack of stability at your club and he I think the same assurances he wants at Spurs were the same assurances he wanted at Chelsea I think mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, Man United. What, what, assur- what assurances could they be, though? Like, what, Do you know what, what it is? I agree. I agree. Chelsea may not be stable, but like Spurs <laughs> are stable, but st- stable down there, bro. Mm. Like that's the stability that you lot got. You lot not going down or you're not going up. I think you're gonna remain in that thing, and his his resume will be to build it up from there. And he sees that as a as a project for himself. So I get it realistically. Like I'm I'm I'm. 
you know, I'm 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 screwing because I said no big manager will take that Spurs job, and he is a big man. He's a big coach. He's a big coach. Do you think? Do you think he'll do well there, though? Like, do you think he'll take them back up there? Realistically, he can. Mm. I think he can. What's up there, though, Matisse? Right. We're, we're, we're talking. Ball we're, ball talking ball. we're talking. We're That's talking. We're talking. Newcastle the top five, isn't it? Really? Yeah, we're, to, we're talking back Newcastle to, back, to, back to compete. Back to basically being a. Like Champions League caliber club, I think. I think they'll compete. Club. I don't think they'll get it. I don't think they'll get it. I think they'll champ- compete. I think they'll will compete. Be five spots. So it'll be five spots next year. Okay, yeah, that opens it up a little bit. Yeah. Did they will be five spots next year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at the smile on your face. It better be because we need five spots. Yeah, Who's gonna fine. do well here? This coefficient. Who's gonna do well here? Well, we're all out of Europe, so none of us have contributed very well to the coefficient, apart from uh, Hugh. <laughs> you would have come with Luke two years ago, so yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Me... yeah, we did do something. Yeah. Well, what about the rest of you? What did you contribute? Arsenal, nothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You? The new rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool were Champions League final last year, so huh? yeah, okay, good. Yeah. And Toby, what did you bring to the table? Uh, Zagreb. <laughs> Zagreb. what is <laughs> that? Zebra, what was that? Group? What did you what? What's that? Is the Open League Finals count on that? Like, uh... Yeah, of course, of course. What, <laughs> was that? what, what, what are you bringing to the table next season, Matisse? Nah, listen, we're, we're, taking, we're, taking, we're, we're giving the spots to you guys, charity. We're giving the spots to you guys. We, we did the hard work, got the coefficient points. Now you guys get the spots. Oh, sure, sure. All right. yeah. so what, what, do you not, what do you not think are the, are the top five making Champions League, though? That, that's a bit... Brother, like, what is it? I'm, Brother, I'm very happy. Is, I'm very this happy. This is Super League. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. Super League arriving now. This is That's what it fact. is, isn't it? Fact. It's Super League. Yep. I think the day that Newcastle were taken over, we needed five spots. That's what I think. <clears throat> oh, we forget about Newcastle. <laughs> they come up as well. It's, yeah, it's there still. <laughs> it's right. exciting, man. I don't know. It just look. Sorry, it negates the idea of excitement because now. Teams are just going to play even like it's going to be more wild the Premier League season because everyone's going to beat each other and nobody's going to really care because they know they're getting top five or whatever. You know? It's not guaranteed. You have to work. You have to work for top five. I think you have to work. Bro, it's not guaranteed. No, but do you really have to work? Like, well, there's six, there's six, there's six no. of us here. There's six of us here. There's only five spots. So every year someone's missing out. Plus Newcastle. So that's two teams. And then we're not even mentioning the fact that, you know, Aston Villa, you know, they could do something with Emery. Like, yeah, yeah, you need to work. Yeah, but the top four is already comical as it is. Like, imagine now, like, the top, like, it's just, I don't know. It's going to make it more comical, if you ask me. If you want, if you want the real Champions League, then we got to go back to just the champions being in, in, the, in the Champions League. And that's it, like, definition. Then it won't be comical. Because then everybody behind will be in some other competition. But no, Man United recently under... The last ten years, I don't think you'd like that very much. <laughs> Matisse is like Iron Man. He's had he's Chelsea have <laughs> him up so much this season that like, he's just you can't kill him. I told you, I told you. He's, <laughs> he's born again. He's, he's finished. Him. Trust me, don't worry about that. Don't let him. Don't let him. Bro, the guy's a madman. You can't kill him. Look at him. He's laughing, What's drinking tea. I've killed him several times this season. Don't worry, you push him. <laughs> He's got nothing left inside him. Like right? he's no emotions, no, 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 no nothing. We'll fish something out. We'll fish something. I don't even have another win in me this season. Another draw. Another. No, goal. no, no, no. You have, you have. Not even another goal. I'm, I'm just chilling. Rest of the Super, season. No, Super no, no. No, no. no that come that. Terrific. <laughs> Bro, is there anything happening with the Kulisevsky situation, or is that just? All... Oh yeah, That's I, don't, I don't, I don't believe the reports. To be honest, it's from that Nico Shara guy, whatever his name is, and like. Yes, he's quite reliable though. He broke the Kante is he, news. Is he really that reliable? Like he's he's got some things right, but he's got some things wrong. Like he told us that <laughs> we were gonna sign right, he told us that we were gonna sign Zaniolo as well. So where's he? Where's he? Yeah, so, yeah sometimes maybe do sometimes maybe shit. Yeah, but <laughs> he's a he's, he's, he's got like a Would you would you sign him though? Um absolutely of, of, absolutely I would sign him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Why wouldn't I sign him? Yeah. Why wouldn't I sign him? Listen, if he has to see Bone, is Bonehead leaving this summer? Bone, Bonehead leaving. Lucas Moore is he leaving? Yes. <laughs> I'm happy for you. you know. Happy for you. Bro, I was no watching way. Brian Gill tonight. You know, Brian Gill, man. Listen, I was watching him today, man. Tobes, man. I'm excited. Yeah, I know. I, I like Gill. There's a there's a player there. He's just too he's just too lightweight. But we is need he given get... is he giving like Fabio Vieira vibes? Bit, bit lightweight. He's lightweight, very lightweight, but he needs, he's got the talent. He just needs, he needs 
we need to actually commit to making him Premier League ready as mm. a club yeah. by giving him opportunities where um, it can make his transition to Premier League ball a lot better, man. But yeah, I, I like Brian Hill. I was an- I was annoyed that he was loaned out in in um, January. Um, it didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense to me. Got a super chat here before we do predictions. 40, 403 says, even the lower teams would spend more money because that means Europa League and Conference League spots transition to lower standings too. The league would become way more competitive. So yes, lower, the teams are spending money now. I don't think one extra place will change that, but I guess there's, there's more incentive. Wasn't the Milan dire- like technical director saying something like, he said something, there was a quote, I was, I was reading the article from The Athletic, he was basically talking about how like Milan can't compete because the likes of Leeds, he said Leeds, Bournemouth, and the likes of Leeds and Bournemouth can spend more than AC Milan. And when you actually say it, it's crazy. Like AC Milan, rich in history, and they can't compete with Leeds and Bournemouth. Mental. Yeah, yeah Bournemouth and Southampton spent nearly 100 million, bro. Yeah. West Ham spent one one seventy. West Ham, yeah, mm. it's mad. It is mad, but I guess it's it's down to their it's slightly yeah. down to their own doing as well. Yeah, yeah. Like, we make this money because because when their leagues were dominating, I didn't hear them crying about our 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 league not being the best league in the world when Spain was dominating with their Galacticos and signing Premier League players for hundred million. I didn't hear no complaints from Spain, so. You man can hold that. <laughs> you man can hold that. But are you all right there? It's, what is that? It's Sorry. Matisse, isn't it? Matisse is like... I told you, he's gone. He's a madman. That's it. It's finished. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Tobes, prediction. That's the middle of Tottenham. Oh. Um, I had this one nailed down as a loss. <sighs> You know what, screw it, man. I'm going to go for a win. doesn't really matter at this point anyway. Um, I'm going to go for... Don't be fake, man. <laughs> I'm going to go for 2-1 Spurs. Where is it? Villa Park. Villa Park. Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough ask. Are you not in the title race with Saeed? I am. <laughs> yeah, don't sandbag. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's sandbagging. Formula One terms. He's sandbagging right now. He's pretending like he doesn't have pace. You know what sandbag means? <laughs> Do you? Maybe it'll be... I think maybe a draw. Let me go for a 2-2. Two, two. I don't know. I'll stick with 2-1. I'll stick with 2-1. What's Let's going on? Let's see what happens. I'll stick with 2-1. It's fine. Mm. Every time I try to do something like that, I get scolded and shit. No, because you do it when it's gone round to three other people and then you want to bring it back. It's more fun like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two one. <laughs> Matisse. Uh, I'm going to go Aston Villa two, Tottenham one. Fuck it. Two one. I'm going. They beat you at your, your grand this season, innit? They did. With they Emily. Did. Yeah. Yeah, two one. I'm going for as well. Hugh's gone for two two. Saeed. Yeah, I was gonna go for that one. Two two. It'll be a draw. Nice, entertaining draw. Two, one two. one. One one. All in. Couple three draws. One Tottenham win. Two Aston Villa win. So very different predictions there. All the super chats on Tottenham or the extra Champions League place are in. So Matisse, Chelsea, Nottingham Forest. Bye bye. <laughs> Come on, man. There's nothing to talk about, man. Come on, let's not be silly. Let's not be silly now. There's nothing to say. Um, we defied all the odds yes uh, last week with a win and three goals in one game, which was crazy. And we're safe now. We've got 42 points. Um, the, the overachievers. That's what we're. Shaq was off. Yeah, man. We're on the beach. We're on the beach. Like, let's be real. I, I, I don't really care. I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've reached a sunken place. I don't really care. I've got my 40 points now. You These games. Care. Nah, I really, yeah, I probably do. You're, you're right. When, when when we concede, I will, I will find I will find the care um, inside me again. But before the match, uh, I can't really I can't really get into it. We, we've hit the forty. What's the difference between finishing tenth and finishing thirteenth? I just want to see the the young players. To be honest, I just want to see the players that 
are here for next season. I want to see a good start in 11 with young players that have got potential. And that's it. As long as I get that, I'm good. Um, not interested in anything else. So, prediction, Forest. Mm, mm, they're kind of fighting for their lives. Mm. Mm. Are they? Are they not done either way? No, no, no. no. They're, they're, three they're points, fighting. Three points above relegation. Yeah, yeah they're sixteenth. Two, two, two wins in the last five. It's more than us. Mm. This could be a sticky one. Still, I'm gonna go. <sighs> two, 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 two. Yeah, yeah because hope. yeah, bro, what? what, what, so what? What do you mean, so what? They have like the worst away record in the league. What are you okay. talking about? <laughs> okay. it, so what? And we're one of the worst form teams in the league. So what? Yeah, you are, but they are literally the worst traveling team in the league. Good. Well, then they can come prove me wrong, then, isn't it? Because I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm bottom of the league anyway. So I'm just I jinxing. I wait for you to eat that chili. That's what I mean. Well, I'm eating it regardless. I, I, I'm gone. I'm, I told you I'm in the sunken place. Turkish has left me behind. In left the... me behind. Yeah, I can't wait for your bullshit this season. Um, Two two. I'm going two one Chelsea. Hughes gone two one. Said. I'm gonna go two nil Chelsea. Two nil. Yeah. Is that Stamford Bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Grizz. Two one Chelsea. Two one Tobes. 3-1 Chelsea. Three, you know, if, if we don't win this, you know, you're in the mud. All of you. you know that. Not really. You are? No. Yeah, I, I can't be asked. No. You're throwing my points away, but can't be asked, isn't it? <laughs> I told you he's gone. He's lost it. How can if Chelsea, if Chelsea lose, we're That's in the mud? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. <laughs> Trying Crazy. to prove a point to me, man. You should, you should have listened. <laughs> nah, at this point, we're just like, yeah, man, no worries. <laughs> Listen, Morgan, nah. Gibbs, Morgan Gibbs White, man, be careful. Uh, cool, all predictions are in, and that is the last fixture to predict. So I'm going to go back to the super chats that came kind of out of time in terms of the... Actually, wait, we was on Chelsea. There is Chelsea super chats. Baba Tunde says Chelsea will win their last three games. Fingers <laughs> fucking crossed. Um <laughs> Memphis says Chelsea being the worst will still be deciding top four relegation and even the title race. Mad. Massive free games yeah. for everyone but Chelsea. Um, Everton to win at Goodison, then Mudrick will win us the league. Imagine that. Matisse would teleport into a different universe. <laughs> <laughs> he would. Yeah. I told Matisse already, if they, if they beat City, I, I, I'm driving up to his house or wherever he does his watch along. So <laughs> better not end that live. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, Amir God. says, between City, Newcastle and United, which, between City, Newcastle and United, which team can realistically drop points against Chelsea? United. No, it's at Old Trafford, man. Mm. No, I think they'll win, but I'm saying if there's one team likely to do it, I, I can't see. Actually, no, Newcastle. Newcastle, 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 Newcastle. Bridge. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Newcastle. It's the last, it's the last game of Lampard yeah, I Newcastle ever, Newcastle ever to do anything out. with Chelsea. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, Newcastle. Lampard will never, ever go anywhere near Chelsea in any capacity. So this is his last game. Packed Stamford Bridge. Do something. Mm, you're saying packed. You it so bad. You want it so bad. But you're, you're, saying, you're saying packed. I'm not sure about that. Means, no, no, they're sure. going to want to give him super frank a lamp. Uh, send sure off about that. Mean, Come on, this ain't Twitter fans, man. This is online, hardcore, proper Chelsea. They're going to be in there in the shed stand. What's it called? Rory, Rory Jennings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, taking a piss. Shed stand, innit? What's it called? I said the shed stand. You know, you know shed damn shed right it's the shed end. You know damn right it's the shed end. This is why you're not getting a hard stand. You ever get no points. Bro, what what's the, what's the name of your stands? I don't know. Host, oh, you got you got you I got do names. Know, but I'm not going to tell you. You don't have legends, so you don't have no you have no names. Okay, we we have no legends. Okay, you have no names. <laughs> cool. Um, Alzan come back says, "Yo, Saeed, learn the following phrase in Italiano." No. <laughs> why? You know why? Because my man could say anything. I was like, yeah. No, I've, I've searched it already. It actually means that I can't lie. I searched it before reading it just yeah, in case. Okay. 
Uh, Don't say okay. I'm right, cool. True. Say yeah. yeah. You can't trust me still. So you um, say you said this. I can't speak Italian, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Toby did say Toby's brave like this. In this situation, Toby's brave. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's said about a thousand, like, mad Matisse, stuff. you ain't got nothing left to lose anymore, man. Just give yeah. it a go. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he got man? to lose. He got, he got, he got to lose. Matisse ain't got nothing going for no. him. Uh, even, uh, even, yeah. even I will pass on this one. Say no more. Uh, Aaron says, who is your first choice target that you would want your club to sign and who is the first name out of the door? For me, Rice and Holden. For me, it's Caicedo and Inketia. Saeed. Mm. <sighs> two, two choices, he said here. Yeah. One in first and one choice. out. Um, I want Caicedo. And you I'll, want Ossie and them. You want why are you changing it? I'm just saying in like just because I know midfield's a priority in it. And it says one in it. I have to choose one. I say Caicedo and then out Maguire. Grizz. Caicedo and Nabi Keita. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? Does that, does that have to be realistic? <laughs> I'm waiting to say like does that yeah. have to be realistic. Hey, <laughs> Tobes. Yeah, does it have to be a realistic signing, or can it? Bro, be... come on, man, be real. Don't say Mbappe and someone else. Um, I want to send it back. I just don't know which one, but I want to send it back to come in. And first name out the door is Eric Dyer. No, sorry, it's Davison Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a couple, man. Don't worry, Matisse. Um, first name out, Lukaku. Um, Why though? He's got goals and that. Don't be silly, please. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for that. So that's yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't. I don't care. I don't care who he's better. This is this is this is this is personal. This is not a Bamiyang. This is personal. <laughs> Guys, would we take Lukaku? The rest of yeah. us. I know. I know. You want we've, had it, we've had it. We've had it. <laughs> to, Tottenham to replace Kane? No. No. Nah. No. Okay. He's better than Richarlison. He's better than Richarlison, though. He's on mute, man. No, you don't want to. No, no, speak up. On mute. Come talk. Sorry, I said. I said he can be better than Richardson all he wants. That's fine. He weighs like two hundred kg now. He isn't the same Lukaku. The hunger, the, the hunger, the hunger on the pitch is is is, oh, is gone. Dude. <laughs> you're joined for man. Man said yeah. he can be better. Than I, I actually like Lukaku. I really like Lukaku, but he's too heavy now, man. I said he's too heavy. <laughs> you can't take him gym with you, no? And he's the wrong side of 30 as well, man. No, 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 no. Um, in. <laughs> I thought I thought a little bit, I thought a bit foolish for saying somebody should come in. Can I not give another out? <laughs> Gee, you've had enough. I, I, I need to trim my squad. Um, I'll probably say listen to Bamiang as well, man. Just get them both gone nice and quickly. Yeah. Cool. Mm. JC says 90 minute Grizz and big six Grizz are two different people. Everyone go watch Grizz on 90 you minutes. Know what? I need to start watching 90 minutes more. Yeah, I need to start right. watching it because apparently it's yeah. a two what are you saying on that platform? Professional, <laughs> professional Grizz. Yeah. Professional Grizz. Professional oh, Grizz, isn't it? Oh, that's yeah, professional. Yeah, you gotta be professional, isn't it? Agend- agendaless Grizz. Horses for courses, isn't it, brother? <laughs> Horses <laughs> for courses. And this one came in pretty early in the show, but it isn't on any football subject matter so I thought I'll save it till the end but SA says guys I'm suffering my girlfriend cheated and left me for an academy baller I'm only 5'10 and broke in uni age 21 how could I possibly compete don't compete forget it don't worry just yeah don't compete do something else, else, man. Do yeah something I don't else. even know why you're mentioning your own height my guy yeah, just man. just do your thing man says 5'10 5'10 is average height bro like you're at university there's there's literally plenty, let me not even be so derogatory, but like, there's plenty of options, bro. There's actually hella options. No, uni, if anything, we, uni, we, we, if anything, should, should make you, should make you more resistant to rejection because it's, it's not that deep, right? Maybe to be fair, it's, his, it's a girlfriend. So he probably loved his girl, but shit happens, bro. Yeah, oh, shit happens, happens, man. You're, you're young, happens. man. 
Don't Shit happens, man. You're a bag, man. Yeah. Trust mm. me. There's, there's more stress after uni, my guy. There's Honestly, more stress after uni. It's so. a minor, bro. It's a minor. In, in, Finish that degree, moment. get a good job, and you'll be as, as Toby would say, just go and twang, you know, go and twang, you know, and um, you'll get it out of your system. Twang <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I said go twang. Are you talking about rubbing one out? <laughs> oh no, my god. Yeah, end this show now. End end the, the show. Wait, wait, stop. <laughs> no. you know you what are you talking about? The shoulder shake. Stop, 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 stop. stop. I don't know what you're talking about. about, man. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop, man. <laughs> stop. <laughs> twang and what I don't know what Toby said. Like, talk, get out of here, man. I ain't about this life, man. No rules, life, man. <laughs> no rules, man. No rules. I ain't about this life, man. I don't know what to say, man. No rules. Yeah. Head down, man. Head down. <laughs> Get him, man. Head down and head out. Head down and head out. <laughs> used to stay, <laughs> used to stay here twanging and, 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 and to put some money together and go go Amsterdam for the summer, man. You'll forget her in no time. Don't worry. Shut. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't End worry about it, day, man. That's the real advice. <laughs> Seriously, in in a, in a few weeks, maybe a few months, you'll you'll look back at sending this super chat and laugh at yourself because the, it, it, it won't matter much. Women come and go, and for women, men come and go. So it is what it is. You're, you're at uni, enjoy the moment you're in. Um, a lot of people at uni are broke, mm. and a lot of people oh, yeah. after uni are broke. So make sure that you're on the right path and do your thing. Mm. And a final thing, thing, just to remember that that guy, that academy ball is not going to make it, so it's all good. All right. Oh, that's that's, uh, a, that's a bit that's a bit deep. That, you know, too, much. Yeah. too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> too much. That's not nice, is it? <laughs> He stole his goal. I'm going to have to defend unless, him. He's a big six viewer. I don't give a unless shit. He's at, unless that Cobham. If he's at Cobham, he's making it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cobham <laughs> hype, man. Keep That's telling true. people, man. Yeah, he's, he's not one of our own, yeah? You, you keep your head up. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Um, <laughs> last, last but not least, we'll bring the prediction table up. So this is how it's looking after game week 34 and before game week 35. Oh, mate, Grizz. No, that's Grizz wrong. Is... That's wrong, isn't it? That is wrong. This is the old one, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is the old one. Give me one that's sec. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's seven points now. Tobes is catching up to me, man. Yeah, yeah. Give me one sec. It's right here. Yeah. Let me just upload it. Has Tobes Up... extended his lead on me? There we go. There's the update. There we go, yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is right Lord. behind me, man. Pause. 11 11 points now, not 10. Not go anywhere. Yes, peak. <laughs> For the people listening on audio platforms, we are on audio platforms, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, all of that. So if you want to catch up... You know what's mad? Before you go there, Turkish, like, yeah. I could bottle the top four and possibly bottle this. Like, Oh, calm down. <laughs> no, it's mad. Shitting. Stop shitting yourself. Tobes or Tobes or Grizz would need one of those four yeah. correct score weekends, like, and th- yeah. that's what you have. I'm trying one. to understand how you have ten correct scores and you're and you're that far ahead of me. Like, what what are you really doing over there? <laughs> Basically, I need to do a madness. I need to do a madness. The next three games, next week match weeks. To, oh, I, to I can't games. overtake you, too, because you two got stinky, stinky tactics where you're just copying. I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> you are doing it. You're doing stinky tactics. And Matisse, all the predictions well, are on the Instagram page. So if you want to go over the whole season and, and do the maths, <laughs> you're, you're welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome to, my guy. Ah, if you're listening on all your platforms, Saeed's on, he's on top, 137 points. Tobes in second, 130 points. Grizz is in third on 128 points. Hugh in fourth, 126 points. I'm in fifth on 122 points. And Matisse, bottom of the league, 111 points. It's not looking good. It's not Breath. looking good. Uh, Centurion, we're Centurions. So. Southampton settings. Centurion. Wait, Matisse had a howl at this season. Centurions. Oh, like, Centurions. What are you, I don't know what's going on. Centurions. I don't know who's had more. Nah, I was going to bring that super chat guy out. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's taking more L's, you know. <laughs> so, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't even say that you're such a shit. Like, come on, this guy said his this guy this guy said he had no money. What kind of community little, man is this? Money he had, I didn't he say nothing. Don't be saying you're taking a piss out of it. What kind don't, of community man is this? Five pound could have probably bought him. Don't be saying nothing. 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 Don't be saying nothing.
No, nah, to be fair, my, my 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 pain is spread out over nine months, so I'm definitely I'm definitely clear. Listen, I can't wait for you to have that fucking chili. The way is it that it. hot? Is it really that deep? It's, 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 it's going to be. It's only be. one man's, be only one man's gonna find. Out. Only one man's gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. We will be there. We'll I'll be report there. back. We'll I'll, let you, we'll I'll let you. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Is this? Is this? Can I? Can I do this in private? In my no, own time? No, you, you, no, no, you no, do no. this. Okay. Full screen, just like Whoa, this. Like, oh, hey, hey, hey! Like Tobe did it last year. Don't you remember? Last season, yeah. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. This is it, man. Tobe's done yeah. it. Like, Tobe's the proper done it like the bionic man. Yeah, he did like, it he ate like he was eating a, like a, I don't know like a strawberry. He, he just inhaled it. Yeah, yeah, like it's an apple. He was calm. Yeah, like yeah. Strawberry was like just eating water. water. He I don't just know, inhaled it. I think it's gelato. Don't you know I'm Nigerian? What? He was just eating it. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like for me, we've, we're having this conversation about losers, but I think there should be a trophy parade. Maybe on that day, like, get a trophy. In. You could have your trophy yeah. in um, Central Park. You can walk around with it. We'll, 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 we'll... No, I think we should have a as much Garden as we're doing the relegation battle. I think we should be a trophy parade on that day where I just go. Whoa. Do you want a guard of honor? Yeah. Do a guard of honor or something. Yes, guard no, of honor. No, 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 maybe you're right. Maybe we do a trophy. We we etch in. We we do the we engraving. Saeed. We start that. 20, yeah, 19, man. 20, 20, 20. Yeah, now, big up, big up, Saeed, man. That's gonna be like, yeah, man. man. It's gonna. Be, I'm not gonna lie. That's mad. Like two that, years ago. Like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Come on, man. So we'll see, you win it three times in a row, and you win it three times in a row in here. We'll do that. We'll start That's it from the full. Like it's a free peep, but we'll start it from the full season. So Saeed won two of them. Yeah, two, man. What do you mean three, man? man? Shut up, man. Calm yeah, down. Saeed, rise, three, man. Two, rise, two seasons in a row. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah. All right, cool. Three. Listen, man, them. Let's two. wrap it up here. We've passed two We've passed two hours. There's still 5K in the building. We haven't hit 2,000 likes, but as you're heading out, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the man, them. All channel links in the description below and the official channel. And don't forget, grab something from Manscaped. Use the code TB620 for 20% off. Or you can click the link in the description below and it'll automatically apply it. But please do check during checkout that it has been applied. If it hasn't, then just put the code in TB620. We are back Monday night, 10.30 after the Leicester-Liverpool game. So make sure you're right here. Make sure you're subscribed right here. And make sure we see you Monday. Love for the love, people. Enjoy the weekend. We're out. Peace. This show is sponsored by Manscaped, the leaders in men's below-the-waist grooming. Are you a big dog? If you are, Go grab your discount. Use code TB620 at manscaped.com. It's what the big dogs do.